Oh, you know what day it is. It's Tuesday night, baby. Get those VH revving. Come on now. Come on. Come on with me now. I said, I said, come on with me now. Go on, get you some. Who's with me? On time pod. Right on time. Oh. Feel it? Do ya feel it? Oh, you feel it. Hello, my name is Matt Malone and I stream iRacing. Now, if you guys didn't know, iRacing is a browser based game. Now, I just got done downloading Java and I think we're ready to go. <laughs> hey, Mr. Mike, good to see you, man. Thanks for the 18 months. Bullet for Justice. Not so Grand Prix. Zeke Racing. Good to see you. Happy Tuesday evening. Happy AMS night. With only two more races left in the season. Who will be champion of the V8s? That's what I'm asking myself. Will it be me? No. Yes. Well, you never know. Bowling for soup. Deja vu. Laughing donkey. Justin wrecked. Mr. Lamborghini. I sink. Gary Roberts. What's up, guys? How are you? How are you? How are, how are you today? Hola. Hey, TD Carlo. VIP TD Carlo. I've gone to drive a few track days at Laguna Seca. Was an unreal driving out into the track for the first time. Isn't it surreal, Alex? Isn't that feeling surreal? Now, the most surreal feeling I've ever gotten when it came to mixing real life driving and simulator driving is when I went to road Atlanta and drove the Mazda MX-5 but the surreal feeling was coming back and the very first thing I did when I got home is load up the Mazda at road Atlanta that was surreal so if you haven't done that yet Alex do that it's like your brain <laughs> your brain like a bunch of wires get crossed and you're like am I still there I can't tell it was the weirdest thing, but it was also pretty surreal doing it in real life, too, because you'd seen it from the sim, too, you know, but yeah, it's it's really weird in a good way. Hello, Mr. Dan Zolo dropping 13. Look at him go, folks. All right. We got to win this thing. Mr. Surreal. Welcome. Hey. <laughs> Well, as long as you cross your I's and dot your T's, then maybe you will be champion. That's right. Proper grammar is required to win. Double dare. What's up, buddy? How are you? Three months. I triple dog dare you. Get it? Three months? Dude, Laguna Seca and Bathurst to finish out the season. Finney, you've done it again. You've done it again. Unfolding, good to see you. Davey, what's up? Laguna. 
It's your favorite track? I think the Laguna Seca always gets left out of discussions when talking about best tracks, you know? I think I think it has that default base, you know, base content. Uh, mark on it, you know? Stain, if you will. Like a poop stain. Sorry. Skid mark, yeah. Trying to get my force feedback feeling good here. I got them right where I want them. <laughs> hey, listen. You don't want to just dominate the entire competition from the get-go. You got to lead people in a little. Make, it, make them think they got a chance at something. And then steal it right from out from under them. Slugger 502. He's here, folks. The first ever tier 4 subscriber is in the chat. Everyone bow down to Slugger. Kiss Get his that feet. FFB dialed in. Get Good it. luck tonight. Get it dialed in there. Hey, Sean. What's up, buddy? Thank you so much for the 17. I'm dialing it. I'm dialing it. it. I'm going to dial it in. Hey, Dylan. Yeah, this would be a good combo. So I got another setup from uh, Jackie Boy. He says it's a little squirrely first couple laps, you know. Now, when I'm at Laguna Seca, my brain defaults to Mazda MX-5. But it's going to take a good 20 minutes or so to get that off of me. What's my favorite car in iRacing? Good question. I don't know. Oh, in real life? Uh, 2023 Toyota Sienna. Low miles. Uh, Hello and good luck. Low miles, leather seats, cruise control. Hey, wet wipe. What's up, man? Thanks for the three months there. Tell you what, people going through the corkscrew on this track, they're gonna need a couple wet wipes, you know what I'm saying? Just to keep things tidy. Tom Bland, good to see. You. Oh, Tom Bland? You're gamer muscles, buddy, aren't you? You're always giving him a hard time. Now you're here. I don't really have, like, favorite IRL car, right? What about the new Mustang GT3 cars? Those are cool. Yeah, they got cruise control in the new cars now. And... Dude, you want to roll down the window? You just push a button. Hey, Ray Smith. Good to see you, man. <laughs> Low miles, regular miles, high miles. Matt Mother F and Malone Baby. No need to swear. Hey, Zach, what's up, dude? Thanks for the fiber. Crash assist? Yeah, it helps you crash. Power windows in the front, crank in the back. 
Yeah, it's kind of like when the driver's side seat is powered, but the passenger isn't. Kind of funny. Slow burn. Thanks, man. Maddie Gwill, good to see you. Oh, that's Mike Nickham in front of me. He's, uh, he makes all the AMS swag. He sent me a couple of tumblers. I got coasters. I got a first win plaque. Made out of slate. Makes a lot of, like, mods and stuff for pedals. Slow burn. Hello there. Oh. It's really a slow burn. Texas toast. Not just regular toast, guys. This is Texas toast. It's thicker. Meteor. Oh, you're in the market for a high-end wheelbase, wheel base, Ace Attack, or Simucube? Uh, I mean, that's an easy choice. Boom, Ace Attack! Boom, Ace Attack! Um, if you want the best quick release on the market and the best software, I'd go Ace Attack. And the best force feedback. Hey, I've heard it from a lot of different people. The Simicube force feedback versus the Ace Attack force feedback. There's a difference, and the difference is the software. And the Ace Attack gives more detailed uh, force feedback, and it's faster. That's what I'm going to say. But they're, the Simicube and uh, Ace Attack are uh, top of the line. Can't really go wrong with either one of them. But I bet you can get some Ace Attack gear for cheaper. Oh, I got a break earlier. Everything's bigger in Texas. Oh, there he goes. He uh, he did decide to go get Ace Attack. Oh, that's good. Hey, what a smart guy. Oh, you need help checking out? I got gotcha. you. Hey, welcome to Ace Attack. How are you? Did you find everything okay? Oh, you did. Oh, that's great. You know, we got uh, $1 hot dogs if you're interested in the cafeteria. Oh, yeah. A couple little glizzies for you. Well, you're all, you're all ship-shaped now. Thanks for coming to Ace Attack. Have a good day. Oh, you used Matt Malone, 5% off? <laughs> Such a nice guy, Pravi. Uh, compelling argument. You're welcome. What's the approximate cost of the Ace Attack base? Uh, go to the website. Um, for the Invicta base alone? I don't know what the Invicta base is. The Forte bundle probably is... Probably some of the best bang for your buck as far as... I mean, it, look, this stuff, this stuff costs a lot, but it's not expensive, you know? Yeah, Mr. Mike's got a Forte base. I mean, it's really, like, some of the best stuff you can get. It is high-end stuff, for sure. Not everyone's in the market for super high-end stuff, you know, but... Uh, I don't know. Uh, maybe I just believe in you more than you believe in yourself. I feel as though you deserve the best. Okay, is that wrong? Is that wrong? Hey, Daryl, what's up? You don't have to spend a fortune on third-party wheels with A-Stick. But if you want to, A-Stick makes it easy to spend a fortune on third-party wheels. <laughs> yeah, that is true. <laughs> well, what am I going to do with this top-of-the-line 27 newton meter wheelbase? I might as well go buy a $2,000 wheel rim. Yeah, true. Uh, I missed the damn shit. Sorry. All right, let's start racing. Let's do it. Let's do it. MacGyver, good to see you. Oh, 
Going for the gold. It's X Wolf right in front of me. Am I doing any ovals? Probably not. Happy birthday? It couldn't be further from my birthday. But thank you. Did you bring me any presents? Your presence is a present in and of itself. It's true. You got a slow car on the left. Hey, not quality content though. Thanks, man, for the resub. That was a great message. It makes complete sense. <laughs> makes a lot of sense like if you have like an r3 base or like an r5 or like a csl dd like you're not gonna spend two thousand dollars on the gsi rim right <laughs> but <laughs> yeah so maybe go with the la prima base you know oh david moore is gonna get pissed Look at this action, huh? That's just a little taste of what's to come here. This is the penultimate? I always get confused with that word. I never really knew what it meant until like two weeks ago. The penultimate? Race. It means it's the second to last race. Next to last, yeah. I swear, that's like a European word. Nobody ever uses that in America. Almost ultimate, yes. Simi Cube is the penultimate, Ace Attack is the ultimate. Boom, brand it, put it on a shirt. Yeah, this setup gets better and better. Yeah, the F1, and I hear it in iRacing a lot. iRacing broadcasts. It's really no, go ahead. two places I've ever heard it. Ultimate for your uh, R5. <laughs> yeah. I used my um, GSI Max 32 on a uh, R9, and it did not play well together. <laughs> Couldn't handle it. Although the Max 32 is probably one of the heaviest wheels you can get. They used it in NASCAR? Everybody everybody changed the channel. They're like, well, you used you know all them fancy words for, bro. You got a slow car on the left. No, SimiCube uses Ace Attack parts. You got it backwards there, buddy. My bad. My bad. <laughs> all, right. all good, all good. No, I thought I was clear. No biggie. <laughs> oh, I don't know, Edward. Sorry, Jeff. That was a long ass wipeout, man. Awesome camo, good to see you. Got that right. 
It's already in there, Zach. I'm just using GT3. <laughs> Right side. Clear. Ian Lane in front of me. Clear on the right. Oh. I'm sorry, I'm a menace. Clear on the left. Dot. So I pick up. Yeah. Like, whoa, 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 I'm not a pit stop. <laughs> uh, nobody warned me about these cold tires. Mech arm, thanks for the 11, buddy. How are you? Feels weird to me right now. Yeah, the tires are really cold. Hey, there goes Black Dog. He thinks he's going to challenge me for a podium spot in the championship. I mean, he is, he is long gone. Go ahead, Randall. I don't know raw, raw racing. I mean, that, I, I I don't know. I, I don't know. Think that I don't know how that would work. I'm sure a lot of these companies are using a lot of the same technology, but if there was a company that was directly going to compete with you, you wouldn't sell them or license certain IP. I, you know what I mean? But maybe they're all getting it from someplace, you know? Like, they're all using just regular, like, all these industrial electrical motors, you know? Then they just put their own housing on them. Right Clear. Ace Attack bought the parent company of Simicube for their IP. Well, there you go. We'll go right to the source. Buy it. Make it better. Compete, dominate. I don't know anything about it, to be honest. That's true, minority. Yeah, they're all using, like, those midge motors, right? Yeah, I mean, it's pretty incredible what kind of equipment you can get just for playing a video game these days. <laughs> if you think about it. Not to mention, like, the flight sim stuff. Oh, my gosh. If you are a full-on flight simulator guy and you look at sim racers, you might as well be looking at a guy playing Mario Kart. That's how they think of us. <laughs> that's, how they, that's how the flight sim guys think about us. <laughs> oh, you got it, Mario? <laughs> Yeah, truck sims are insane, too. So now, especially with the m new Moza rim. Dude, I remember getting a steering wheel for the original PlayStation 1. And it was literally just a D-pad, but it was a steering wheel. <laughs> like, it had the same function as a D-pad. Well, actually less, because it could only go left and right. So you would turn the wheel, nothing would happen. You turn a little bit more, nothing would happen. And then you turn in a little bit more, and then it was like pressing left on the D-pad. So like, <laughs> it's so funny. How could they sell that? It's so that's like that should be illegal. Played demolition derby with it. Yeah, I think I did too. A mustache to my avatar? I know. You got a lot of work to do. Hey, Fast and Furious. Saw a dude on Marketplace Local asking 17 grand for his flight sim. He probably spent 25 on it. All right, we can get these tires warmed up, and we're gonna throw down a, a real juicer.
Hey, Fred. Yeah, race is at, like, yeah, the top of the hour, basically. 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 I feel like this is going to be a race like, um, kind of like it was last week where I start, you know, maybe I don't qualify as well. Start a little slow, but then as the race goes on, I build up some pace. Problem with Laguna Seca, though, it's very easy to overdrive it, overshoot corners. You really got to stay disciplined at Laguna Seca. That's what makes it such a good, like, rookie track. Got a wide variety of different types of corners, some cambered, some flat. One of the corners is a corkscrew. Major elevation changes. Start slow, finish strong, every woman's dream. Yeah, the sand is very pretty. Why doesn't iRacing make it rain at Laguna for like three weeks straight and then it starts to green up a little? Man, that's really in between gears, huh? That's another point six off. <laughs> Alex. <laughs> Having a tough time getting this thing slowed down. Hey, Michael, doing good, man. You doing well? Brake bias. I don't think I've ever messed with the brake bias on this thing. I don't even think there's an option for it. You can't, oh, yeah. Okay, that's why. You can't change it. There's no option for it. Got some time in the corkscrew still. I got a lot of time out here.
first gear? Mm. Wrong. This is Mustang, not Mazda. try stuff that people say oh yeah i'll try it <laughs> yeah the mustang likes low rpm anyway so almost popped a cylinder also if you didn't know the corners at laguna seca that whole corner is just turn two turn one is actually in the straightaway leading into it you didn't know that. But if you say turn two at Laguna, no one thinks that corner. Okay. Oh, you're speaking of our Rouge? Fun fact, this used to be an old Air Force base. Turn one is right here. Right here is turn one. And then this is turn two. Coming up. Right here. Destruction. Ryan, what have you done? You activated total destruction. Save it. You did not save it, folks. Ryan, what's up, man? Thank you so much for the gifted subs, brother. Five gifted to the channel. Legend, dude. Thank you so much. Ready for the win tonight. Last race. Last league race here was epic. Oh, yeah. Last season. Yeah, we did have a good one here. God, there's just been so many seasons. So many good races. Supermoto head, good to see you. I almost want to use third in the corkscrew. Am I crazy? Bart Simpson? I don't see it. Oh, he's like looking up into the left. Yeah, I see it. <laughs> it is pretty cool, B sticks. It really is. Yeah. I yeah, it's really come a long way. Don't slow down. Sorry, Randall. It's trying to get out of your life. Griffin, good to see you. Getting out of the way often leads to being in the way. Oh, here comes Finny McFinger with his racing philosophy. It's a modern day Play-Doh. That's up. Yeah, the track maps do look weird. It's like seeing things in clouds. 
Mark it, please. Sorry, David. Ah, no worries, man. Oh, man, that corner. Yeah, damn tired. Open up turn two. Watch uh, arrow do it. Oh, Jack. Yeah, Jack's good. I, I don't know if Jack left foot brakes or not, but I know Arrow does, so it's, it is, it's gonna be different driving style. <laughs> Griffin, yeah. When till the race? Like a half hour. Oh, dang, Sanchez goes full on simulation. This is Jack's fastest lap. I like that low torque, or that low RPM. Uses a button or something. I think arrows on paddles and uh, button clutch. As far as I know. Matt and Eagle. Good lap. NASCAR, what's up, man? Thanks for the 55, brother. Mr. Jello, thanks for the follow, man. Welcome. Oh, he was a first time chatter. Yeah, sorry about that, Mr. Jello. Uh, yeah, like, uh, top of the hour, basically, is when the race begins. Yeah, Ryan. Yeah, Sanchez. So, Sanchez, why... In the, um, setup... My my ride height in the rear is super low. Should I make the front a little bit lower too? I guess it's oh, I guess it's oh no, it's balanced. Oh, I see what you did. It's balanced. You can't see the track? Yeah, I know. I'm looking at the setup. Oh, uh, okay. Let me lower my fuel and run some laps. Try to get a. Try to get up. Let's try to like basically practice our quality. 
Yeah, Sanchez, for sure. Have to warm up the rears. Okay. Oh, I know how to warm up the rears. You just smoke them. Uh, yeah, good luck, man. Thank you for the setup, man. I do appreciate it. Yeah, you started to throw... Well, that all goes back to when we talked to Kevin Ellis Jr. Gosh, that was a while ago now. But he talked about there's a difference between warming up your tires and conditioning the tires. You can you can just go thrash it around and increase the temperature of your tires all you want, but you're not conditioning them properly. So it's important to condition your tires. So that means like be careful when you're warming up your tires. You don't want to be like thrashing around too much. You want it to be like a controlled environment when you're warming up your tires because then they're going to get conditioned properly. Now I keep using that word condition, but I think it's a matter I think the way best way to explain it is like you're warming them up properly in a non-thrashy way. You can imagine like if you're really scarring up your tires right off the bat, yeah, they might be warm, but you're ruining them, you know? You wanna in you wanna warm up the inside of the tire, not overheat the outsides. There you go. That's a good way to say it. Like slow cooking versus fast cooking. Different results. Yeah. Do you guys want to eat a pork shoulder that's been in a slow cooker for seven hours versus a pork shoulder that you sauteed on the pan at 500 degrees for 10 minutes? You know, think about it, guys. Just would you think about it? I'm getting the old Betty Crocker slow cook around here. <laughs> yeah, much more even when it was a slow cook. Yeah. Great analogy. So who's up for some short ribs? It'd be completely raw on the inside. Yeah, that's true. Maybe... It I'm good at I'm good at eating and making eggs. Maybe compared to eggs, like you don't want to have a super high heat pan and throw in your scrambled eggs. It's just gonna burn, and you're not gonna get an even coat. You want to have a low to medium flame on your pan when you're doing uh, eggs, you know? Then they all cook normal. Now, I use a microwave to make my eggs, so I don't know what the hell I'm talking about. <laughs> a little herbal essence never hurt nobody. I like my hamburgers burnt on the outside and raw on the inside. Well, TD Carlo. That's why currently you are in the middle of an FBI investigation. So I've heard. Again? <laughs> Eggs in the microwave? Oh, yeah. 100%. No, it's not a sick joke. I get a bowl, spray it with a couple shots 15 of... 15 minutes to the driver's meeting. 15 minutes. Excuse me. You get a regular bowl, you spray it, a couple shots with uh, Pam. One more hour race control. 15 minutes. Then you crack two eggs, add a little water, or milk. I, I'm lactose intolerant, but add a little water. Mix it up really good. This is the one of the most important parts of the procedure. You got to get a fork and mix it up really good. Introduce a lot of air to it. Okay. And then you put it in the microwave for a minute and a half. Open the door with like three to five seconds left. Take it out, flip it over, add salt and pepper, chop it all up. You have some of the best, most amazing fluffy eggs. They're perfect. Uh, yes, yeah, Smoogers. Uh, but you have to have a bowl if you want scrambled eggs, which I like. 
You have to have a bowl to mix it in. So now you've dirtied up one dish. Now you're gonna dirty up a pan. Oh, I gotta take this. Yeah, hello there. How's it going? I oh, know, you're fine. Thanks, David. I'm all right. Yeah, these cold tires are brutal on the outlet. I agree. Sorry about that. Andrew Smith, what's up, man? You ever try those Jimmy Dean crack and egg microwave scrambles? No. No. I... Oh, God, no. All that pre-packaged breakfast garbage is so disgusting to me. And... No. I won't risk it. It hurts my stomach. And they use sausage. Like, I can't really have sausage. Sausage uh, upsets my stomach. So, especially in the morning. So, that, unless it's like, like biscuits and gravy are sometimes okay, which uses sausage, but it's not that much, you know. Like when you have biscuits and gravy, the gravy. I mean, there's not a lot of sausage in it. Well, especially the stuff I've had. But no, and it's all full of sodium. Like, those... Yeah, I don't know, man. It's like lining your stomach with more stomach. <laughs> oh, man. No, that was my boss. Anyone know how I can level up formula cars past D license? Don't see any races for that license that come with the free cars and tracks. <laughs> yeah. Oh, boy. It's a wake-up call for Cosmic Cow. McCow. Cos Cosmic Cow. Um, you have to start buying content. <laughs> yeah, that's how they get you. <laughs> um, yeah, you have to start buying content. <laughs> There's strategic ways to do it. Um, if you look at the schedule for a couple particular cars that will progress your license class. You can see the schedule and try to figure out how, my, how many default tracks are on the schedule. So then you buy the car, but then you don't have to buy as many tracks or it's like a long waiting game. It depends on how fast you want to rank up. A lot of series will use uh, default tracks. So you just have to buy the car and then wait. Like, you know, sometimes like you gotta wait two weeks to find a default track on the schedule, you know? Um, yeah. Yeah, Cosmic Out, right? It's tough, man. Oh, a raffle? You guys want to do a raffle? We can do that. Twitch-only raffle. It's only on Twitch, by the way. 
Yeah, we can do one. I just got new codes, so. Hold on, Adrian. Hold, hold on. Hold on, hold on. I got to reset it. Okay, now you can enter the raffle. Thanks for reminding me. I, I forget sometimes. Uh, exclamation point raffle. Twitch only. Twitch only. Exclamation point raffle to be entered into a raffle for your chance to win $20 in iRacing credits. We're hoping Macau wins it. We're hoping Macau wins it. The realization of the iRacing business model just hit Macau straight right in the face. <laughs> Real wake up call for him. So we're all hoping he wins. <laughs> we're all hoping he wins the raffle to try to ease his pain. <laughs> oh, laughing donkey's stuck in D2. <laughs> well, good luck to all y'all. <laughs> Welcome to the party. Such YouTube nerds, we get the raffle and you don't. Top five tonight, Malone. <laughs> to be honest, if anyone knows about a stream, about, um... Okay, so I use... 162 is pitting. <laughs> no, you're, oh, we should probably practice our pitting. Hey, Blizzard Extreme, thank you so much, man. Um, so, like a chat command bot for, uh, YouTube? What is that, you figure? Because what do I use? Oh, I use Moobot. So I use Moobot, but Moobot's only for Twitch, as far as I know. I mean, I looked at it. Ubot? Because we could do, like, separate raffles, you know? Uh, no, you can fast track your license all you want. You have to meet your safety rating requirements, which is 4.0 to fast travel. And you have to meet your MPR, so your minimum participation requirements is uh, racing in a class above your license or whatever. And if you buy enough content, you can fast track to A license like. How much time you got? A week? <laughs> I th I'm pretty sure. There's no time limit on it. Nightbot works for both. Oh, really? Okay, I'll look into Nightbot, because it would be great if I could combine them. Yeah, your SR needs to be above 4.0 to fast track. If you're above 3.0, you have to wait till the end of the season. That That's when you'll get promoted if you've met your MPR. But if you want to fast track, you get over 4.0. Yeah, why don't you read the sporting code, you son of a gun? No. Yeah. Couple months to get to A, road and oval, but now I'm learning how to race. Yeah, that's another advice that I've been giving out recently is like, don't rush through it. Don't rush through rookies. Five minute warning, five minutes. Don't rush through D license, like just take it all in. It, the, the license ladder progression system is there for a reason, you know? So I would, I would enjoy it and uh, learn from it. And just take it slow, because once you get to A, there's, you know, you'll never be able to go back. I mean, you will go back eventually after a couple bad weeks or bad luck, but, you know, you know what I mean? Yeah, try everything. Use, like, use all the default content. If you've kind of maxed out your road, head over to Oval, you know, like, just have fun with it.
There's a lot of default content now, yeah. Yeah, you want to be learning racecraft. The, the worst thing you can do is, like, start from the pits and stay away from everyone just so you can increase your license. That's, that's stupid. You're not learning. That's, that's not the way it's meant to be, you know? You're supposed to be qualifying at your best, dritting up, and racing. And, yeah, it's... You're not going to progress as fast as someone that's starting from the pits every race and then, like, if they see anyone on their screen... They break and pull over and wait, you know, wait till they pass or something. Like, yeah, obviously that person's gonna get zero X, but they've gotten nothing out of it, you know? Yeah, I think it was Ryan, Ovenna. Ryan K Keller gifted some subs earlier. Oven ninja. An oven ninja? <laughs> Dude, um, Ellie's got this book. It's, um, it's, uh, gingerbread. You know the gingerbread man? But this is ninja bread man. And there's this old sensei in his dojo. And he makes some cookies for his, uh, protégés, you know? And they're little ninjas. And one of them pops out of the oven. guys I'm really having a tough time seeing <sighs> I didn't have time to go get eclipse glasses yesterday and I just stared at it for like a good 30 minutes I'm having trouble focusing 21 months hey third eye vision thanks man appreciate that dude Hope everyone's having a good Tuesday night. Chicka Chicka Boom Boom. We literally have like five variations of that book. Everyone buys it for us. Nothing on the Eclipse comment? <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> Geezer goggles. Yeah. That big black hole right in the center of my vision. <laughs> it goes away in a few days, right? I think, I hope. <laughs> little little blue truck. I don't think we have that one. Dude, she's on those uh, pink alicious books. Oh my god, dude, this girl. Pink, pink, everything's pink. This girl has a brain in a brain eating amoeba or something. Pink, pink, everything must be pink. Her whole room's pink. Good lord. And then whatever she whatever she wants, she just cries. And then checkered flag, checkered flag. And then the parents and, and the teachers the in the line, book just do what she says because she's crying. I'm meeting. like, what is this? this is the worst. Got about the driver's briefing. Yeah, it's crazy. Fancy Nancy. Yeah, you 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 can't stare at the sun. Like, I don't know how people are physically able to stare at the sun long enough for it to hurt their eyes. Because once you look at the sun, you're like, ah, and you look away. <laughs> like, you can give the sun a couple glancing blows, right? Medic to the corkscrew, medic. But, I mean, how are people, like, just keeping it there? It takes training? Oh, okay. <laughs> I gotta work on that. <laughs> I just kept turning right and didn't let Bro, off. Bro, I'm real. blind. I need one million likes. <laughs> 
Imagine thinking you're tougher than the sun. Yeah, I just can't imagine having the willpower to just stay there and look at it. <laughs> uh, it's funny. Because I gave it a couple glancing blows yesterday, no doubt. But it's just like, you just can't do it. You better buy a second to trickle in here. Still you know? Push through the pain, yeah. <laughs> well, there was a bunch of stuff talking about... Oh, can you imagine if you were, uh, it was years ago and you were in some tribe and, All right, there we like... Go. Welcome to the penultimate oh, race of season six. Penultimate race, he up. said it. Uh, if you guys haven't noticed, cold tires are a little treacherous. Cold tires are treacherous. Hold on, uh, let me finish my thought. Uh, to a minimum on voice chat and... In All right, let me finish my thought. Because I seen all over that, like, oh, you know, back in the day, like some some tribesmen or something, when there was a solar eclipse, you know, they lost their mind. They didn't know what was going on. They they thought the sun was gonna get all swallowed up, you know, and they didn't know. Oh, man, it was crazy. Like, dude, there's no way because they're not looking at the sun. I'm telling you, man. If no one told me there was a solar eclipse yesterday, I would have just been like, oh, it got dim for a little while. And what if it was cloudy? I bet nobody even really noticed it. I mean, I guess maybe totality they would, but. Are you at the turn in point? You have to give them room. Um, Don't believe the hype, guys. For <laughs> established position is the overtaking cars. Front tire is equal with the. Yeah, exactly, sizzling point. popcorn. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you would have noticed in totality, I guess. Yeah. The blue flag is. That's a that's a very small amount of people that if would even you see. You are it. a blue flag car. Be predictable. Remember that. Uh, I want to bring up the points. The is often getting in the way. Stick to the line. Let the faster cars get around you. If you're going to surrender, do it smartly. Communicate first with your car, and then any other communication that you need. If you are lapping another car, be aware that they are an entire. You're passing a car that's an entire lap slower than you, so you probably will need to give them a little bit of extra space. Know who you're driving around and. Wait, what the hell is going take on here? Cautions as necessary. For the love of God, please heed local yellows. <laughs> For the love of God. The race, <laughs> um, and try to drive further down track than the hood of your nose. Okay, here we go. Pit entry and pit exit. Aeronom 321, uh, Jack entry, Sanchez 310. Really Remember. Um, so if you're not the first in line going into the pits, you're probably going to have to break much earlier than you think. It's like... Um, um, the other unfortunate thing about pit entry is... It's at least 35 line. points so for a win. Find yourself I on the wrong side of the track and cut over and cause an incident. Probably going to be your fault. Pit exit here. Spits you out onto the racing line, so cars coming around the hairpin need to be aware. Cars coming out of the pits, they have nowhere to go except for the left side of the track. So you have to leave them space. Forty and points cars for a win. Out of the pits are, to are completely entitled. To Forty race points to for a win, guys. I think it's. I don't even know how they. So this is like it's four, all three. up for grabs. Yeah, I'm fourth. Anyway, it's a green racetrack. So they'll be able to race you to that corner. So keep it clean. Keep it fair. X Wolf, good luck, buddy. Uh, clean driver is still up for grabs. Um, so we have to use the incident number that is on the sheet. <laughs> True, McNugget. Yeah. Line if you're worried about incident points, <laughs> you it's your funny, responsibility man. to stay clear. Yeah, I don't. Again, I, you have I was going to reach out to Scotty driver, Banks to see what was going on. Protests. You know. Um, the link is in the links and information channel uh, a few of you have used it already remember guys exclamation person. point raffle uh, to be entered into a raffle perish good luck buddy exclamation point raffle this twenty dollars i racing credits for uh, following race drive throughs obviously because we can't do that after the last race uh, when we get to bathurst school there's rewards there's payouts for the winners yeah yeah, yeah. pretty good payouts for the winners yeah, it's tens of uh, dollars. Post race, there's a debrief that is completely optional. You're welcome to stay around after the interviews are done with the broadcast. I forget. I can look. 
a quick little debrief about the race. Um, lots of points battles still going on, so give no quarter and take none. Uh, I don't suggestion. know. Thank you, Pierre. Uh, does anybody have any questions or concerns or anything they want to bring up before we uh, get going? Yeah, what uh, people are asking what the payouts are for winners. Uh, I don't know them off the top of my head. I did post them, and they are in the rules document. I can I can share it later. But oh, like a ballparks, like, like the winner gets like fifty bucks or something, right? Like ballpark it. Uh, I think for pro it's closer to a hundred. Oh, 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 all right. Yeah, literal tens of dollars on the line. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> fight accordingly. Yeah, so it's it's yeah, not crazy money, but uh, it's money, you know. In both Maybe like a hundred bucks to the winner, you know, whatever. Fifty bucks the second, right, um, stuff well, like that. I don't think I have anything else. Remember, we did we do have a long grid time, four minutes, and um, green flag. You can have the track back. There you I'm go. I'm gonna apologize now because everyone will probably be passing me here. So sorry. Good luck, guys. Good luck. Yeah, good luck. Have fun. Good luck, Paul. Yeah, good luck. There you go. Exclamation point broadcast. Get you that broadcast. There you go. Prime time, baby. If they're up and running. Oh, they're up and running, baby. Give you the action. Welcome everybody to BTR TV for today's race again the American Muscle Series season 6 race number 11 in our 12 race campaign here right on the channel happy to give you the coverage as usual gonna be myself Corey let me Sol use the restroom the quick while a, show the broadcast these guys are cool here. if you've been watching the channel for a significant amount of time here Brandon Kreutz with me as Andre was not able to uh, help me out here on the evening uh, so first off Brandon welcome back to the booth you haven't been here for a couple of years but glad to have you on short notice but I know you're a Mustang fan and everybody loves Laguna Seca so you should feel right at home with tonight's race Oh, absolutely. Who doesn't love a, a little American muscle, right? Uh, first of all, really good to be back. Uh, I'm happy to be kind of back into the swing of things. We'll shake the rust off. It's good to do every once in a while. And uh, yeah, awesome to be back in my home here in PTI TV. Yeah, exactly. That you helped me start the channel back in 20. Well, you started it back in 2017, and we are now in our mathematics, our seventh year here. Uh, things rolling here on the channel. But other things that are rolling is our practice session right now. Again, race number 11 of 12 here in AMS. We'll pull up our ticker here. You can get a scope of where things stand in practice. Times uh, Jack Sanchez, top of the board, to a 133.93. Eero Nam, who is our, and I just have to give Brandon a little bit of uh, kind of context here. Uh, Eero Nam is our dominator here on the season. He has won five of the six, four rather, of the five seasons of AMS. And the only season he didn't, win, he didn't run. So he is the guy to beat and currently our points leader. Fabian's wired. All right. Um, okay, let's pull the raffle quick. Exclamation point raffle. One last minute. Get you guys in the raffle. Oh, hey, Chunky Live. I thought somebody said something about Roxy, but I didn't get the context of it. Hey, man. Welcome, Chunky Live. Good to see you, man. Yeah, Roxy, unfortunately, it's been uh, one year now. Been, like, almost exactly a year. Yeah, we had to put her down. She was 16 years old. She lived a good life. Um, but, hey, welcome back, dude. Good to see you. Lazy's Donuts. Thanks for the follow. All right, we'll pull the raffle. Mr. Dan Zolo wins it. Dan Zolo wins it. Congratulations. I'm going to send you those credits right now, my friend. $20 of iRacing credits coming your way, my friend, in a Twitch private message. I just sent it. All right, let's go. Qualifying begins now. Three laps, quality. 
must be rigged, Drifnik. Cosmic Cow didn't win. I feel bad for Cosmic Cow. I did hear about Jimmy at the... Yeah, I was keeping track. He... I guess it was a double header at the Nurburgring. They had an, they were leading the first race, and they had a puncture which damaged some sensor ABS or something with the brake. So they had to bow out of the first one. And the second race, they won. Dude. It is awesome. It's crazy how, like, look. Okay, so go to Jimmy Broadbent's YouTube channel and, and uh, uh, go back, like, just one year. It's crazy, <laughs> like, what he's done just in one year. Hey, thanks, Chunky. No, I, yeah, no, I, I, I it's, uh, no, I still work. <clears throat> For now. But, yeah. It is, Michael, yeah. It's so cool. Oh, yeah, don't go to Jimmy's channel right now. <laughs> green flag, green flag. Jimmy came from a shed. He was put there by a man in a factory downtown. <laughs> Did Jimmy eat uh, any peaches? All right, first lap is literally... Uh, not worth anything. Just warming up the tires. Hitting my spots. Trying not to slide. Yeah, Basic Alley's. Did you see the car that Basic Alley's gonna drive? Dude, I never I didn't think they make cars that small. Looks like a rollover risk. But hey man. Doesn't matter. It'll be fun as hell. I don't want to be put in a car. I want to. I'm. I'm in. I'm in the seat that I want to be in. This is my dream seat. Listen. Let all the li listen. Let all these streamers become real race car drivers, and I'll be the only streamer left. <laughs> like, fucking go for it, dude. I just, they're gonna be busy racing real cars. I'll be here on iRacing. <laughs> that's what. That's what I want to do. <laughs> Uh, hey, Vrax, it's good to see you, man. When these when these content creators started driving in real life, did they? Do more content creation on the sim side or less? It's one of those things where like, yeah, you should experience it a couple times and I have. But my true passion is streaming and sim racing in that order plus I'm too old oh shit let's try sea gun pays for racing teams sponsors and you probably have to supplement it uh, with your own bankroll 
sure every situation is a little bit different, but sponsors are definitely key to racing. That's why every race event like a billboard. Ooh, I hit that good. Not the best exit there, but <sighs> come on, give me something. Six? Oh, that. Oh, I hope that holds, man. I still left quite a bit of time out there. Did I condition the tires? Yep. All right. Long intro coming up. Ladies and gentlemen and race fans from around the world, welcome to the penultimate race here for the AMS season. That's season 6, 2024. Only two more races to decide the champion of the V8s. We find ourselves here at beautiful Laguna Seca, where it is slicky dicky out there. Let's take a look at the points right now. Ooh, we got Aeronam on top right now, but it is close. With uh, about 40 points that goes to the winner, it is anybody's ball game. You got Aeronam, Jack Sanchez, Fabian Zweier, Matt Malone, and Luis Enriquez, your top five. It's anybody's ball game. Don't forget, this race is being broadcast by PTR TV. Given the play-by-play, -play. check them out. Let's grid, let's win, let's go! All right. Yes, I have won one of these, uh, one of these uh, races before. I used to win these races all the time. I won a couple. <laughs> I've won a couple back in the day. Yeah, and cook toast. Thank you, Tano. A slicky what? Oh, you you heard what I said. Okay. This is it. Mm. Oh, I never practiced my standing start, and I never practiced my pit in. That's great. I'm an idiot. Let's go. 
The estimated SOF is yeah, place your bets, guys. Uh, have I won this season? I think I did get a win. Alright, set up our... Set up our fuel here. Good luck, all. And you would change you right sides, if anything. Thanks, buddy. If you take three gallons, you you can take two tires. Especially you. you if it's only two gallons, then you can't take tires. <laughs> Thanks, Ed. That's true, NASCAR. Dave, I'll try not to stick my elbows out when I'm around you, if I'm around you. I'm going to try to take it easy. Fall in line. Try to be smooth with these tires. <laughs> uh, it's usually three gallons. I don't know what liters that is. It's one of my best tracks in a Mazda. It's a little different with this car. <laughs> Good luck, everyone. Good luck. What's a liter of cola? And remember, this is supposed to be fun. Oh, fun. I knew I was doing something wrong. No, you can't be having fun. Just waiting for the race to start. Five cars Get left patient. to grid. Five cars Get left to grid. Oh, here we go. <laughs> <sighs> We'll just wait a little longer. Thanks, Elvis. Elvis? I think the broadcasters are in the race, too, so you have to wait till the full four minutes. There's a full minute left. We might have to wait the whole time. Still waiting on two cars to grid. Yeah, it's... Well, there should be a car in front of me. I don't know. I don't know how the broadcasters get in. Starting six, though. That's good. Hey, Ian Lane with a hell of a... Jack Sanchez with pole. All right, here we go, guys. Standing start, like always. I'm starting sixth place. Jack Sanchez, your pole sitter. Arrow getting second. Kevin third. We're still waiting for fourth place to grid, which is Fabian. Everyone there he is. All right, here we go. I'm ready. Green flag, green flag. Green, green, green. Take it easy. Right side. Still there, hold your line. Clear. Gold tires. Slow down. Slow down for Jack. Think. There's an incident behind. 
Fabian takes the lead from fourth. We can just hold with these guys and chill in a train. That would be good. Oh, they're bad on. This is good. Hey, chance to save a little fuel here. JDMR, what's up, man? Thank you so much. Seagun, thanks for the first time sub. I got, I got my eyes on you, Randall. much of a run as I thought I would. Clear. Car right. Clear on the right. I don't have the runs. Stuck it is a racing term. Do they drive like the V8 supercars? No. Complete control over my bowels. For now. Until I eat a Jimmy Dean's breakfast cup. Microwavable. Did a Laguna get updated? No. I think it's the sky... The sky graphics that make it look a little weird. The car in P7. Just set the fastest lap. 
The new Tempest system, there's these satellites to scan the sky before every race. This is a two gallon race, guys. So no tires. I gotta save a little bit more, but. This is a two gallon race for sure. Should have been more aggressive with Fabian. Here comes Checkers. I've just been saving a little just riding behind the train and I'm at 2.08 fuel needed and when you refuel for two gallons it's 2.1 gallons so plus it doesn't account for the time loss in pits so. smooth hit my marks not getting too worked up over anything would have liked to stay ahead of Randall but Fabian, he might have missed the gear. Seems like a missed gear situation. Jack's running away, dude. Yeah, he's trying to check out, isn't he? That's all right. Tire management's a big thing in this as well, so we'll see. Arrow making moves.
Nico, thanks for the sub on YouTube, man. Appreciate that. point i'm chilling waiting for an opportunity trying not to thrash my tires too much that's all i'm doing No, classy Emily, no. CR Robinson, thanks for the sub. Thank you, Screech. move bold strategy I mean pit windows open Get back in I'm fine with that try to watch where he comes out in traffic Randall keep an eye on that track Matt I'd be interested I mean, he's going in early. It's like really early. We're four minutes away from half halfway. Well, 
Well, Jack's gonna have to take three gallons, there's no doubt. No doubt. Yeah, I don't think I'll lose the draft, but I gotta keep up, keep it up, yeah. Thanks for your patience, Ed. No problem, man. I know it's tough on the tires. Going well. The lead is at 35.192. I'm going to burn a hole in my monitor just like the Eclipse burned a hole in my retina yesterday. Jacker's still hanging on, yeah, 100%. He's, getting, he's catching some draft. This guy knows how to get out of the way. What's that you think? It's, it's a misshift? Give me a misshift. Clear on the right. It's a bad place to misshift. Well, nice, it's bidding in. Double clutching? This ain't your grandpa's Mustang. You've got about five rats of fuel. Ow. No damage. Car looks clean. Felt like I had damage. What did you do, man? Whew. Casey Kerwin, thank you so much, man. Hope you did well, Brands Hatch. P6 of Brands, nice, man. 
I'm Matt Malone. I stream my racing. We're doing our uh, weekly league race. AMS with the Mustangs. Been a good race so far. I'm managing well. We Got to do a pit stop coming up. There's only two more races left in the season, and it is tight as far as points. Arrow Nam in second right now. He's leading in the points. But Jack Sanchez, the blue car up there. I have this sub thing. P6 felt terrible going in better than expected. Okay, great. Go win. He's in second right now, so this is getting real close. Casey, Sorry, what's up, man? Thank, thank you so much, dude. Much. And it is a slick track. But we're having fun. We're trying hard. You got a toy car on the right. You got a toy car Boy. on the right. But this is the only league where you can get 50, 60 Mustangs all on the track at once. It's pretty wild. Jack Pitts, Jack Pitts. The lead is bidding now. So it's a little tight on fuel whether or not we need two gallons or three gallons. I'm gonna take two. You're now in third. Go for it, go for it. Oh, he's not. I think everyone's saving a little. Jack must have to take three, though. No time to get two tires if you take two gallons, though, so. If you take three gallons, you got time to swap two of your tires out. But Jack did not take tires. Okay, well, that's interesting. I can't imagine he only took two gallons, though, but... Oh, he did? Okay. <laughs> and he took three. So he's going to have a longer pit stop than us, I think. <sighs> McGrew's in traffic? Good. He pitted real early. I think Arrow's saving. gonna go if they didn't. The next car's the leader. Car on your left. Clear. The leader's bidding now. I can go two more laps. So if Fabian doesn't pit next lap, I'm going in. I don't want to go in with anybody. Okay, you're in second. The next car's the leader. Traffic though. That's right, Maddie. You got about two laps of fuel left. Well, it's a really tight pit entrance. They might slow me down. Someone's smoking. My windshield's completely dirty. No windshield wiper on this car. Car on your left. Clear on the left. Car on your left. Clear I get uh, extra Clear points for down. leading a lap, so this is good. Extra points for leading a lap. Traffic though. Yeah.
Ooh, this traffic could screw me, man. limiter on this thing. Five, three, two, one. Right here. <sighs> Not too shabby. That's it. Go. Sorry, Evan. Oh, there goes Jack. Let's go. That was good. in the pits before the race are really paying off. Slow down or miss shift, I have no idea. There's a miss shift. Maybe slow down. Yeah, he did cut that one corner, but I don't know. I'm slow. Jacobus! Thank you for the 38, buddy. Right side. Clear.
Damn, he's fast on entry and exit. What is this sorcery? Yeah, he's got better tires, it's true. Sick tires. Using my suck. Feels fine. Yep. It's dwindling. It'll be close, but it's okay for now. Car right. Clear on the right. Left side. Oh boy. Clear to the right. Clear. No, Jojo, no. You can use... Yeah, no, there's no restrictions on equipment. Or assists. Car right. You're on the left. Three wide. Right side. Two wide. Still there. Hold your line. You're on the left. Three wide. Clear. Car right. Oh, jeez. Short track racing. Another gear. Oh, shit. Run away. See, is good to defend. It's Matt Malone, Zafiki, and chat in the server. Here we go. Are we leading this thing? Happy six months. Thanks, buddy. Oh god, just give me the white flag. Yeah, man. Yeah, they're battling, they're battling. Good. Deal with it. Jack. I'm so into this shit I forgot to chat.
Justin, what's up, man? Thank you, sir. Championship implications for sure. Might get white flag. We need a white flag. Yeah, it's white flag. White flag, nice and smooth. Stay, stay back there. All right, one more lap. It's easy. <laughs> I've done 20, 24 of them. Why not another one? Thanks to Jack's de uh, defective equipment. We have about one lap of fuel left. Plenty of fuel. You know, Black Dog was throwing shade in the Discord before the race. <laughs> no, good job, Neil. My, my tires are done. Easy does it. The season ain't over yet, boys! We got a new contender! Ha <laughs> ha! Winner! Laguna Seca, baby! Get it! Woo! Ha <laughs> ha! Get in there! Yes! We played it perfect, guys! We played it perfect! We played it perfect. We did it. Jeez. This thing belongs in a museum. <laughs> yes. Ah, oh, it feels good. Hey, Jack, Jack may have been the fastest car. But dude, you have to you have to be consistent in these things. What I've been telling you, you got to be consistent. Oh, that was awesome, man. Woo. That was good stuff. Ah, oh, it feels good. Feels good. Good job, Luke. Good race, we, we get to we get to do the interview. I don't know how though. Toasty. I'll just wait here for my interview. Thank you. Woof! That was awesome, man. That feels good. Oh, hey, wait to take along. Hey, thank you. Oh. Dude, I need to uh, change out this H pattern equipment here. This fanatic found me first gear instead of third on like five occasions today. Oh no, I was wondering what was going on. Everyone's like, did he get a slowdown? Did he have another miss shift? Like, he just missed, it just doesn't register the shift? I think it's got a magnetic sensor, and, and yeah, it must be leaky or something, as best I can put it, because it's catching first instead of third. I recalibrated it like three times before the race. Oh no. Um. Wait, isn't there a thing you're supposed to do where you put in like a uh, either a delay or like some sort of dead zone or something for that shifter? I forget. It's been years. I'm gonna have to look into it for yeah, sure because that was yeah. unacceptable. <laughs> right, right, right. I know you're you're like the fastest car on the track, and I'm like, I'm like, ah, I just gotta defend. It was just like what we talked about before the race, you know? It's like, well, for one, two, you know, we're gonna battle, but <laughs> I defended yeah, just long enough and, and waited for an equipment failure. <laughs> no, you. I was Mr. surprised. Weaver, what you do? Two point one gallons of stop. Yeah, two gallons. Yep, yep, yep. I was able to save quite a bit just driving um, in the train back how, there. Dude. So you took two uh, tires yeah. then? Did I just plow into you? What oh, definitely. Yeah, yeah that was why you, I was yeah. hoping to have pace on you. Right, yeah, right, right, right. Because you had the three, the deal. three gallons yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. yeah was, two really was fine. I, I was still waiting. Early, yeah, like early on, like first five, six laps, I realized I was like, oh, I only need two gallons. 
So. Well, I'm very sorry, Mr. Weaver. Yeah, well, shoot. A way to make it work. I saw you come out ahead of Arrow and oh, Baby. I was like, no well, shoot. <laughs> this is the first year I've actually played this yeah, game. Yeah, I that simulation. pit. This is the first road racing I've oh. done is doing this Mr. Series, Matt so. Malone, you, you got a copy, my friend. I'm here, I'm here. Well, well you're doing you pulled bad. it off, I think, oh, with a little please, help from no Jack problem. Sanchez messing up there. But you had to play the defensive well, champions the there. You, you hung on, you persevered, you didn't take tires, and you had just enough car sure to pull this one off, man. How does that feel? Oh, it feels great, especially at Laguna Seca. I've been driving this track for years, you know, part of the default content. You, you, you know, you drive a lot with Mazda. I probably got thousands of laps here, and it's just nice I've to actually do well at a track that you like and that you, you know, are pretty confident at. So, yeah, that was a great race. I did everything right. I didn't make any boneheaded mistakes because I've been known to do that in the past. And I uh, came away with the victory, man. I'm loving it. I'm on cloud nine, and I'm in the interview booth with you guys. Like, this is this is always my goal is to be up here with you. Dreams sometimes to come true here. But I do got to ask you about the pit strategy. You were one of the lone few to not take tires. Most everybody else put a set of right sides on and you got out of the pits about a second, second and a half faster. Was that just your strategy going into it, or did you kind of have an inkling, maybe I could pull something off here to gain some time? Well, at the beginning of the race, I wanted to save my tires, not be thrashing it, because I knew it would be real slick. So I just kind of fell in line early on and just kind of was riding behind everybody in a train. So then I realized, I'm like, oh, well, I'm saving a bunch of fuel doing this. And I looked at my fuel calculator pretty early on, like lap five, six, or seven or whatever, and it said... I was like at 2.2, and I'm like, oh, okay. I'm like, oh, this is a two-gallon race. So then I just kind of kept it easy from there, just made sure I saved just enough. It wasn't that hard to save. And then uh, I'm like, all right, I'm going two gallons. And uh, so, yeah, that was that was a strategy for this race for sure. And one last thing for you. Pretty scary pit entry here. Any uh, any nightmares on that on that pit entry? Uh, no, and uh, of course I forgot to practice my pit entry before the race, and I always forget to practice my standing start. But it went pretty well, so I don't know. I just kind of flew in there and slammed on the brakes, cut the wheel, and it worked out. <laughs> All right. It worked out well indeed. Well, a tough one next week at Bathurst for our season finale. We'll see if you can round out the title back to back. Matt, any final words before I let you go? Uh, no, yeah, excited for the uh, the season finale, and uh, the it's hey look the championship is up in the air. It's anybody's game, so it should be an exciting uh, race at Bathurst. So we'll see you there. All right, sounds good, my friend. Congrats. Thank you. All right. Well, it's only one class, right? Yeah. So yeah, yeah we moved we, up. We, we we come a long way up, long. and all of a sudden this computer just locked and crashed in the middle of the wall. All righty then. So let's do the uh, turkey timeline, shall we? <laughs> I don't know what they're talking about. And do it from modified chase cam. How about that? Alrighty then, your turkey timeline. Here we go. There we go. Dude, that was fun, man. That was a good race. If you just remain calm, if you just remain calm and just hit your marks, like, yeah, I was slightly a little aggressive uh, getting Randall, getting uh, Finney McFinger there at the beginning. But the door was open. You have to take advantage. And I kind of realized early on that Randall was ready to be pretty aggressive. So when he did get around me... Oh, my God. <laughs> Mike Nickham. He's going to have to send that guy a tumbler. Hey, Slugger. Thanks for hanging out, dude. I appreciate it. Um, but I realized that Finney McFinger was looking to be pretty aggressive this race. And so... Uh, <laughs> When he went to get around me, because I had to slow down for Fabian, because he had something going on, and Randall wanted that spot so bad. I'm like, all right, take it. So, just chilling, you know? <laughs> Black Dog, how are you doing? I see you up there. Oh, no. Oh, no. Hey, eighth place. Not bad. You failed. <laughs> yeah, it was a good race. Uh, I think the points might get updated during at the end of the turkey timeline so we'll take a look 
because it's it's uh, getting down to it. Only one more race left. I'm doing what I need to be doing. I can't have any mistakes or crash outs because I've already used both my drop weeks. So this is big. Dude, checkers. <laughs> oh, no. You kept up with us. It's, looks like you might have lost draft for a little bit, but you were there, man. It's just, it's just one of those tracks, man, where, like, you, you just have to stay disciplined. Like, that's what benefited me is just staying behind everyone. So, I like, when you're behind a train, you're kind of forced to break early, turn in early, get on throttle early. Like, that's what you're supposed to do in the Mustang. So, it, like, forces you to do it. And then, even when I was out by myself, after the pit... Like, I started to overdrive a little bit on a couple corners, I noticed. Just because I was all by myself, you know? Hey, Vibe, what's up, man? Hey, X-Wolf, thanks, dude. Oh, Southpaw. That's Southpaw Racer. The next AMS track, we're going to be at Bathurst. In Bathurst, Australia. One of my favorite tracks ever. Actually, the Mustang and Bathurst is probably the best combo ever. It uh, doesn't mean I'm going to do well, but I just like it. It's going to be all about qualifying. Hey, Ryan Sullivan. Aska Mosca, welcome. No kidding, Grim Zentide. Twice with this guy, huh? But he should be a pro at it next time. Uh oh, whoa, whoa, whoa! Oh, speeding penalty for X Wolf in the pit. I almost got one. I was I sped a, a I went I was a couple miles per hour over there. I'm not very good at maintaining pit speed limit. When I don't have a limiter button. Yeah, PCC, sure. What track is it at? You can just call me explicit. Explicit soul? I gained so much time on pit entry. It felt great. Nice. Summit point. All right, good. This guy just blew his motor. Hey, Parrish. Thanks, man. Yeah, that was good racing, dude. A lot of just train. Just keeping it in the train. There were, there, I guess there was some action early on. Jack was getting after it, dude. It was fun watching Jack. He was getting after it, dude. Kind of, I mean, Jack was the fastest car on the race, in, in the race, but. No, I'm going to call you Mr. Sullivan. Well, check out the PTR TV, guys. They do a good job broadcast. Oh, netcode. Oh, this is what happened later. Oh, Fabian. He's like third in points. Oh, that's such net code that he didn't deserve to go down like that. Oh, this that's a shame. They were just at the end of the corner exit, just straightening back up to get to the next corner too, man. That is that is nobody's fault. That is nobody's fault but I racing. That is a shame. They they did just fine through there. There's nothing wrong with neither what those cars did. But Fabian felt the power of the internet tube that travels under the ocean. Do you believe that? That's right, Black Magic. Matt Malone runs a train on his viewers live on stream. What? <laughs> Thank you, Checkers. He ran a good race, too. The internet is a series of tubes. Dude, dude, there's fish pooping on the internet line right now in the ocean. Hmm, ever think of that? Every time there's a little stutter, it's a crab, like, pinching at the cable. No. Yeah, 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 Zipiki. <laughs> All right. Let's see if the points are updated. All right.
I don't think they've been updated. Um, no, uh, did they? Oh, I guess we'll see. Oh, I guess they were. I gained 39 points. No. I gained 41 points. I led a lap. Wait. And I'm still fourth? Oh, but it's close. Okay. All right, the points have been updated. Still no change in the leaderboard. I think it just got tighter. I don't understand how this works, but now I'm only six points off of uh, third. I increased my lead on Black Dog is what happened. Arrow's only nine points ahead of Jack. Oh, it's tight, dude. Because I earned... I just earned 41 points for this race to win. But Arrow got 39 points. He got third. This is BS. Dude, they got to they gotta change the, the point system. How can first place get 41 and third place get 39? That's crazy. That doesn't make any sense. Yell at him? I am right now. He's in the chat. Finney, what are you doing? 38 plus lap led. Yeah, I won the race, and I had a lap lead. I only get four. I get forty-one. He gets thirty-nine. Wait a minute. How did Jack Sanchez get the same amount of points as me? He got second place. <laughs> I don't know how math works, but anyway, that was a hell of a race. Make sure you check out the uh, full playlist over on YouTube uh, for the full AMS playlist. Check out the broadcast and check out. Make sure you're here for next week for the ultimate championship race at Bathurst. It's going to be a real barn burner. I'll probably wreck in the first lap. No, it'll be fun. No. <laughs> uh, these, these points don't make any sense. <laughs> these points don't make sense, I tell you. Oh, you couldn't even read it. I won the race, and I got 41 points. Jack got second, and he got 41 points. Arrow gets third, and he gets 39 points. Well, how are you supposed to get ahead? Malone for the win. Safest racer? <laughs> no, I never get that. Consistency? Yeah, okay. Whatever. It's fine. No, it's closer though now. I can still get top three. I have to literally do... Even if... Oh, God. See, even if I win the race next week... If I win the race next week... It could still be, still all be the same. <laughs> uh, everyone has to wreck out. Oh, can we see the replay of lap 22? Sure. Let me, hold on. Let me sign up for PCC first so I don't forget. We're doing PCC, Summit Point, Mustang. We're... PCC stacking. Pro won't have any drops next season. <sighs> First time chatter G46. What's up, man? How are you? Good to see you. Oh, that's just mean, Finny. That's just mean. Lap 22, huh? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, yeah, let's watch this. Yeah. Yeah, it's where Jack touched me, my private parts. Ooh, I kind of pinched him all there. <laughs> ah, don't you love it? See, I come in. Oh, yeah. Oh, I'm turning away. Oh, that's my fault. That's my fault. I mean, sometimes I'm just expecting people to back off. Like, especially if you're a lap car. But, <laughs> I mean, they don't have to. <laughs> sometimes I just assume things that I'm the only one that's thinking of. 
I'm thinking of a scenario in my head. Unfortunately, I'm the only one thinking that. <laughs> I'll just assume everyone else has the same thought process as me right now. <laughs> bad idea. <laughs> really bad idea. Uh, I just, I mean, Jax, I should know by now. Jax coming after me, man. You don't let up. Same thing with Finny, dude. Finny is not going to let. Finny. Finny's not going to let up. I like it, though. Because there's, there's racecraft with that type of racing, too. Like, with Finny, I saw his aggression early. And maybe my early opportunistic move on Finny, maybe he interpreted that as a bit of aggression. And so he returned the favor. But I was just opportunistic on a mistake, so I went for it, trying to get ahead. And then when Finny was coming back after me later... And I realized, like, oh, shit, this guy ain't backing down. I'm like, all right, I'll let him by, you know? And played that game, which worked out. Four likes on the live stream over on YouTube? <laughs> you, f you kidding me? One of them is my grandma. The other one's Sim Racer. Who's the other two? Two bots? It is hard to pass. That's true. Oh, man, that was fun, though. Finny pitted an hour before the race was over. <laughs> I don't know how that worked out. Did you come out in a lot of traffic, Finny? You must have. Five likes on the YouTube. Yeah, it's fine. You know what? I'm just gonna have a. Uh, uh, no, I can't. I was gonna have Dempsey do it, but now we'll see if we get something. Dempsey's not awake. Hundred and nineteen likes. I guess it is true. You just have to ask people to do it, you know. Uh, yeah, if you guys are watching on YouTube, uh, if you give it a like, that helps, I guess. Algorithms and stuff. Look, I'm no scientist, but uh, <laughs> that's the way it goes sometimes. The more you interact with any type of thing that's online, the more the algorithm favors it in recommending it to other potential viewers, so it helps spread the word around. Or maybe you want to keep me for yourself. and yeah, it's fine, too. Do whatever the hell you want. 129 likes and one dislike. Wow, well, that, that was me, actually. I, I didn't care for the stream. Everybody get over there and like it if you're watching on Twitch. I don't eat it like a matlock. People don't got yeah, People can do whatever the hell they want to do. <laughs> Smash that like button. <laughs> Uh, this is the best system for points that has kept Arrow from having a 100-point lead at the end of the season. All right, I'll give you that. So if he wins again, get better. <laughs> yeah. It's crazy how many people asked me this race, Finny, if H-Pattern Shifter is required for the league. I've never had to answer that so many times. Jack has a huge lead if we didn't have drops. Hmm. That's interesting. Hey, is an H-pattern shifter required? Uh, no. No. No, it's not, Pravi. <laughs> no, not sequential. H-pattern. You wish you could enforce a clutch? Ban button clutches? I agree, um, but... 
They're selling a lot of pedal sets now with only two pedals. But then again, Finny, if you have a if you have a waiting list, a reserve list of drivers, the more driver, the more demand for the league, the more you can enact like requirements and additional rules, you know. But yeah, I mean, some stuff, even if, you know, a lot of it would just have to be based on the honor system, but. And we all know how that goes. You must have a mustache to race. You must have driven a real V8 uh, Mustang in real life at least once before you can race in my league. <laughs> You must drink one tall glass of warm milk to join my league. <laughs> Paddle shifts and auto clutch. Well, that's great and all. If you use a, uh, if you use, see, yeah, the assists in iRacing racing work perfect. Because if you don't have a clutch, you have to use the auto clutch, but then again, it's a little bit slower. But if you're using like a button clutch or some sort of other way of doing it, then it negates the uh, assist. Oh, the IRX race is a try? I do. Sometimes. Um... It is fun. I do like Rallycross. It is pretty fun, but... I mean, I'm not very good at it. Yeah, I don't know how people would use a button clutch. I don't know. I have no idea, Finny. Jack Sanchez heel toes, he says. And you can tell by the replay, something... You can tell he's really driving it. You can you can hear it, you know. Jack is an animal. You must own a Ford Escape before joining my league. Finny Finny will be like, you you must. <laughs> You must have played some sort of hockey, ice hockey, before you joined my league. It's not my league, guys. I'm just a member. I don't, I don't run it. I don't manage it. Finny throws me at. He asks me questions sometimes, but he asks everybody questions. The, like the long-term members of the league, he'll ask stuff. You know, talk about stuff. But I'm just a regular member. A league for Ace Attack wheelbase users only. Yeah, now you're talking. Very bad. Huh. Oh, oh, ow. Hey, it looks like I'm taking a little bit of a break from the stream right now. Perfect time to tell you that I am sponsored by Ace Attack. Ace Attack Sim Sports provides some of the highest quality sim racing equipment on the market. Check it out! Exclamation point! Ace Attack. Get all the info, the affiliate link. Use Matt Malone uh, promo code to get five percent off your order. I'm loving this stuff. This is some of the highest end sim racing equipment on the market. Loving the new Forte button box. You can swap out. They got like six rims or so. You can swap them out. Anything you want. Anything your little sim racing heart desires. Ace Attack's got it, okay? So you get your Ace Attack uh, Forte button box. You can pick any rim you want. You're out there racing. You're having a good time. And it's all because of Ace Attack making some high-quality stuff. Check out the pedals. I've been using the two-stage hydraulic pedals now for a while. Loving them. Absolutely loving them. So check it out. Exclamation point Ace Attack to get started. What was that guy talking about?
All right. Nothing important. <laughs> Matt records his promos right to mini disc. Yeah, you can buy the whole set if you want. Now, what setup should I use? He's the same one, right? Bug it. Sell my promos as, as NFTs. Do I look like what a guy that's into cryptos? Whoa, Bish Bishopton. Thanks, man. Oh, I probably missed a bunch of people. Hold on. Porter Z, thanks for the sub. <laughs> Excuse me, I was too busy winning the race. <laughs> Casket Man 20, thanks for the six months. Porter Z, appreciate it, buddy. I guess that was it. Yeah. Or no, wait. Yeah. Oh, no. Wal whoa, whoa, whoa. Walrus Bones 28 minutes ago became a YouTube member. That means they, uh, it's like a Twitch sub. That's right, X-Wolf. If anything, I'll, I'll create my own uh, numismatic coins, silver coins. Good stuff. It's always good to win races. I used to play hockey when I was a kid. Just street hockey. It was really a big deal back in the day. That's when, like, roller blades were popular. And I probably went through, like, a dozen sets of roller blades when I was a kid. I used to play hockey all the time. In the streets. In the streets. Okay, here comes your first time black. Laughing Donkey, really? Almost a thousand likes on that video? No shit. My marriage is almost saved. Please, guys, if you haven't already, check out the uh, exclamation point tour video. If you guys want to see a tour of my room, this is just a little sneak peek. Um, boy, my neck hurts. But if you guys want to see, like, an explanation of the, all the stuff I did, if you want to give it a like over on YouTube, save my marriage, please. Um, if I paint anything else black in the house, she's going to file for a divorce now. <laughs> Actually, our marriage is going well. Mantha's been helping with a lot of things. When's number three happening? Speaking of goalies, I mean, there hasn't been a goalie in this house for five years. I, I think the problem is I have bad offense. <laughs> Too slow to cut to the inside. <laughs> or any other hockey analogies, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, no, I don't know, I don't know. Gotta go five hole? Alright. Man, look at those standings, huh? Got 
2K PCC League. Organize a 2K PCC. I don't know what that means. 2,000 strength of field? Oh, this is lap three? Whoa. Look out! Oh! Ho, ho. That man will never see his family again. <laughs> Y2K, it's like doomsday. Boom! <laughs> Oh, I guess I missed him. I missed him. Okay. Yeah, hey, he didn't even flinch. Pretty amazing. Pay for the barrier. Take it out of my winnings. So wait, what does the 2K thing mean? Hey, first time chatter. We got a mechanized grunt. First time watching you race. New subscriber to the YouTube and Twitch. Hey, thanks, man. Appreciate it. Yeah, I, I stream every Tuesday night. Around this time. For our league race, but uh, yeah, hey, welcome, dude. Uh, appreciate it. Oh, 2000 I rating minimum to enter. Oh, okay, I see. Hey, Wild Bill, good to see you. Yeah, I do a lot of. I've been I racing for a long time. I like uh, I like slow cars, but I'll race like GT3, I'll, I'll race like open wheelers. Like uh, F4, F3, Super Formula Lights. What else do I do? Occasional oval. Uh, yeah, GT3s. We should, we should, we should do a uh, LMP3 race. Where are the um? Wanted to get in that LMP3 again, but it really it's dependent on the track. Ooh, Road Atlanta. Hey, thanks, the uh, Mechanize. Yeah, have fun with it. I'm a two-time Daytona 500 winner. Are you guys going to watch the uh, Masters this weekend? I'm going over to my, my buddy's house. Is gonna, uh, my buddy is going to host a little get-together on Sunday, watch a little bit of the Masters. And then my one friend said, he's like, oh, you're going to host it? Talking to my buddy. And he's like, I'll wake up early and smoke some pork. I said, whoa, dude. Talking about dinner? <laughs> uh, thinking about watching paint dry instead. Yeah. I tell you what, though, there is nothing more relaxing because it's usually that time of year where the weather's starting to get nice. If you crack a couple windows, you get a nice little breeze coming in on a Sunday afternoon. You got the masters on and like maybe the kids and wife aren't bothering you and like <laughs> you hear some birds chirping outside. You hear the birds chirping on the TV. It's that it's just so relaxing. It really is. <laughs> the beautiful shots. They keep that golf course in the most tip-top condition ever. It's unbelievable. Yeah, the, the neighbor's grilling a little bit, and you can, like, smell it come through. It's a tradition unlike any other. So if what? 2.4K. 2.4K? Hey, how much fuel do I have? Not enough. Oh, no. Shit. Oh, I had to change setup so it would pass. 
Eh, oh well. It's fine. Hey, race fans, how are you? Well, you know, we're packing PCC right after AMS. We're at Summit Point. Huge field. Let's go. Didn't get that in. <laughs> One left to green. Line up sorry. On the left side. Oh, Shulov's in here. I'm sorry. I was the last one to grid. Uh, sorry about that, Eric. Too busy doing ads. And you better be careful there. Don't jump the star, all right? Eric, what car are you in? Mazda. Mazda? Oh, I love that car. Now when the big Mustang boys show up, it's too much for me. Yeah. Yeah, we just got done with our league race, so then we joined this race afterwards. <laughs> kind of like an after party. Who's bringing the drinks? Man. Only the cool people show up to the after party. Oh, that's right. True. First after party Matt's ever been invited to. It's true. Have I seen any movies lately? Yes. There was one. Yeah. Um... Matt, did you take tires on AMS? No, I did not, because I only took two gallons of fuel. Yeah, that was my assumption. Yeah. Good win. Good strategy. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, it just kind of fell into my lap because I was just behind everybody, just saving. This this race isn't static setup. Or fit. This race is an open setup, but this isn't what we're talking about. No, there was yeah. a movie where there was a hunter. It was the guy from, um, I think he was from... Um, that color's cute, John. Does it have uh, Hello Kitty upholstered? Not Lord of the Rings. Game of Thrones. One of the guys from Game of Thrones. And he's a hunter. And there's this, um, this somebody's like, mis like these girls go missing. And there's like this guy that's hunting these girls in the woods. It's called uh, The Silencing. Hope your sump is doing well. Oh. It is. They're all so Fuse. Going Thanks for the five, man. All right, here we go, guys. Love this track. Starting fourth, number three car. Ridiculous start. Ridiculous. Shoe in here. Green flag, green flag. What are my thoughts on the Titanic? Oof. It was our day when it was Sunday rolling start. Right side. Still there, hold your line. Clear on the right. I don't have many thoughts on the Titanic. <laughs> That's a solid dive bomb, Francisco. Well He's done, like, brother. don't stop pushing me! <laughs> Left side. Would have been funny if you could call him San Francisco. Still there. Clear. Ooh, slidey! There's an incident behind me. Now, I am using sorry, a sorry. different setup than what I used in Quali, because when I put the fuel in my setup, it failed tech, and I was running out of time. I was like, oh, no, and I just loaded another set. <laughs> we got a lot of planning going on. For you, San Francisco? I am so sorry, dude. It's crazy, Braden, isn't it? I never see him in anything else. Clear on the left. They're having fun. Oh, 
Oh shit. Sorry. I didn't lose a spot. Hello, said goodbye. Uh, this is a brand hatch setup. The third gear corner, last time. What are you leaving? What are you doing? Oh my god. That fucking clear, please do this. Andrew! Andrew, we're not fighting for this position. Everyone here is fighting. Yeah, that Cleo messes up for everybody. Is it just one Cleo, probably? Bro, bro he started lifting with four cars behind. Oh, just no, be credible. One. Is it a big fat turkey? A big fat turkey. Thank you, sir. Mm! Stay clear of the sand traps. What? Really hassle hopped it. Huh, this guy's. This guy's learning from me. Chris, you should just quit, bro. I mean, like, you have to have at least, like, 15 incident points by now. <laughs> Two more, he's out. Someone take him out. For the team. You can't say she's quit. You should say she's stick to practice and improve. Yeah. Yeah, well, don't do it here, because you fucked up, like, half the field race. Could be worse, Daniel Gray could be in here. Oof! What, communism? Oh, you just should quit. <laughs> I did, Grims. Yeah. <laughs> they just throw major shade at Daniel Gray. We have ever seen Daniel Gray do a PCC race. <laughs> PCC is great. You got a slow car on the left. Car stop on the left. Go right. Ryan, do we really have to fight this? Uh, do we really have to race in this race? You're gonna make me race you in this race that we're in? That we that we signed up for, the race? Wait, you're racing in a race? Hey, Matthew, you passed me. I got damage. I'll try it. Here we go, here we go, here we go! 
Thank you. Malone going to the inside for the overtake. Do you not know what happened to me? I was sitting in one corner on the fucking oval, and this guy whop, up, up, up right into me. I was going to say I could tow you up the straight, but... Uh, fat fingered the stream deck. <laughs> I want to race the game. What is it? Oh, I just want to race. Can I race the game? Sure. Ryan, I can just push you if I get there. The car is just much faster on the straight than mine is. Thinking about thinking about getting third in this race. Oh, don't worry, there will be traffic. Shane, good to see you, man. Good afternoon. Thank you, Justin. You must be Australian. Right now in Australia, it's uh, Wednesday afternoon. Oh, so sorry for that. There's already traffic. Ooh, there. Ooh, the. Ooh, ooh. Things are happening. See, the thing about PCC is that you're never really out of the race. <laughs> yeah, you're in Australia. Nice, man. Keep talking, Eric. <laughs> What's Eric got set up on his wheel? That Brocklesby guy, he was a guy, yes. Dude, I would love to go to an Eric Shula family reunion. What if all of his family members are just like him? <laughs> they all just talk nonsense for five hours. Oh, that would be... That'd be in heaven. Y'all are doing family reunions? Man, remember family reunions used to be a thing? I think my family still does them. I just... Not very often. Are we missing? Oh, here's this guy. <sighs> oh, I hope I didn't damage your groceries there, Cleo. <laughs> I think I got eggs on my uh, hood now. Not the egg. Yeah, it's the eggs. <laughs> Did you make his jello jiggle? <laughs> My hood doesn't fly up, block my view. Not to my ass and alligators here, Brockleski. This is classic shoe off from ten years ago. Couldn't help play with me. Yeah, this is the Shoe Off Chronicles Part well, I mean, 3. First time in a decade you ever took me. Oh my god, I'm so slow on the straights now. What a rip! Well done, mate. You do get a free reset in this, but... Yeah, we do family reunions still. Go for still. it, go, go for it. I think it's every other year. Every penis just filled by about 50%. Oh, I don't no, know. Just put me in the street. What? We both this time. Wow.
my you gosh. blink and then you don't pass. Incredible. I mean, you're not <laughs> moving great. over, so I'm not gonna dive bomb you and I'd like a throw. So if you wanna let me by, then let me by. Get him. Why? Why are you blinking then? Hey, why are you blinking? You let me by. <laughs> I, I was watching the solar eclipse by, yesterday. So yeah. <laughs> With no glasses. It, it went white. It, it no, I can't anything. stop blinking. Clear. Right side. Oh shit. You're in the middle. Three wide. Clear on the oh. right. Two wide. Still Don't worry, zero X. <laughs> Clear on the left. I tried to pass, and you still held it there. If you wanted me to go, I think my head's broken. Again. In a hundred words or less, please. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking chew off, dude. <laughs> oh man, that's classic. <laughs> I'm gonna have to limit you to a hundred words or less on your all of your responses and comms. Come on, I need to get fourth because it's only a loss of eight. Right it really is racing, Reva. Clear. Uh, this is this is this harkens back back in the day, man. Cleo made it home safe. He's going to run away from me on the straights, but... Maybe with the help of some traffic, I don't know. Thank you, thank you. What's my thoughts on starting eye racing with the Logitech wheel? Yeah, dude. Yeah, I, I wouldn't recommend using a Xbox controller or something like that. Definitely get like a cheaper Where the fuck wheel. Where you guys come from? Try that first, you know. Yeah. I was born in Alabama. You haven't used to shoot with your own road sign. Giving it to you in the street. We're in Alabama. Oh crap! Look at my safety rating. Come get it! Come get it! Come get it! Come get it! about my safety rating. Go out there. Yeah. My friend Aiden is coming. Oh, maybe I should just go get a fix, huh? I don't know. Don't worry, long. Jonathan, I'm not going to pass you. Yeah. Your battle is much more important than mine, so I'm not fighting anybody. So you got damage, right, Mom? Uh, brain damage? Yes. Car damage? Also, yes. That was convenient, Joaquin. He disappeared. Oh, we got some vibration in the hood! Yeah. Where'd your front end go? Huh? Is my hood still there? Yes, sir. The rest of my front end is in a Cleo's trunk.
Will he pick it up at Ikea? <laughs> no, this is American made. Fire sale. I came to a full stop trying to not hit you there, 28. Uh, and, and, Aiden? You're losing on the car, bro. I got this one. He was almost too far up my ass. 8X! You got a toy car on the right. right it's a Mazda! I almost punted him into you. Clear on the right. Oh, uh, things are getting worse. I think it started breaking at the three. I was not ready for it. Hey, Ryan, this is the race for second place here. Sears? Oh, yeah. I was going to say about family reunions, the one place we rent is like, uh, it's hard to explain. It's, almost, it's like a little rec center in a rental community. See, the fun part is y'all are telling like, me. Pretty new construction. and That's a tremendous dick move, Ryan. Tremendous. Give me a 4X too, you hard. <laughs> Back to rookie. Fifth place Toyota uh, getting involved in the Mazda race. Aiden, uh, I'm giving it to you, but you better go. Hey, Skipple, good to see you, man. And there'd be like 30 or 40 of us for a family reunion, you know, in this building. And the echo like gone. is so bad. That you cannot hear anything. It's so <laughs> bad. It's like... My bad. Yeah. It, it was almost like built roll like roll an echo chamber, I swear. Hey, Justin, you mind like letting us place ever? Thank you. Good. The hood's killing you? <laughs> yeah, look at it, dude. It may come off. Uh, if we can find another Cleo, maybe I'll hit him. Thanks, Justin. I guess if we would have pitted immediately, it might have been okay, but we caught up. Hit something? Can hit these cones? I don't think it would help. Get a real aggressive on some curbs. No, don't get any more off tracks. Oh fuck yeah, I just had a pink by point two. I'm gonna get a my B license. No I won't. <laughs> I guess that's a purple they call it. I have damage to various places, guys. Told you. <laughs> Three minutes. Boy, you really screwed this race up. Thank you. Not enough traffic. 
We needed more traffic, guys. <laughs> we didn't see the Cleo coming. We think I got x-ray vision? I was staring at the eclipse yesterday. I can only see I so I'm far. I'm going here straight here, Adam. I have like these big black floaters in my vision. I can't see around it. Are those it. Yeah. H pattern? Anything directly in front of me, I can't see. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> Nobody told me I had to wear eye protection yesterday. <laughs> Let's get up there. Let's get up there. Just gonna sit there, Ryan. My hood's wiggling. It's freaking out. Can you imagine? The reason you can't stop hasn't overtaken you yet. Eighty-two I rating. Shoe offs upset. Yeah, he should be. Well, how'd that work out for you, Ryan? Not funny, Ken. What about having 13X says, let's mix it up with the leading monster? Uh, oh, almost fun there. Can't tell, I can't tell how old Shuloff is. Take me next straight month. He oh, no, literally take me here, sounds take me here. exactly the same as he did 10 years ago. <laughs> and back then, I, I couldn't tell if he was like, 30 or 70, but he's somewhere in between. Intentional what, Ryan? Somewhere Intentionally in passing you, yes. I, I just can't tell. 30 to 70. Ask him? That's impolite. He's B license? Yeah. No, instead of asking how old he is, you have to ask, like, a question that would, like, lead you to believe that he was a certain age, you know? Like, uh... Hey, have you ever seen Harry and the Hendersons on Laserdisc? You know, like, a question like that. And then you could pinpoint it. You remember the Titanic, yeah. Oh, no, no, no! How old were you on 9-11? Yeah. Yeah, what were you doing on 9-11? Uh, my answer is better. My question was better. Oh, there's a lead change? Ask him who is the actor for Mr. Miyagi. Or just ask him how old he is. No, on the I right. can't. Take me on the right. All right. I know you're fast. Hey, do you remember when they released the Plymouth Prowler? <laughs> Wait a second, this is white flag anyway. It's the fuck? Well, the hood lasts for one more lap. Ever see Elvis live? That's it, a genius block him some. Every race with the block. Fantastic race, Pedro, again. What is this? You got a slow car on the right. Hey, all right. Thank you. 
Eh, it's position. What happened, Jeff? All right, we finished. We lost. 57 I rating. It's over. Great job. You did really well. Hey, Matt, right. congrats on your win at Laguna Seca. No man left behind. Thank you. I can't believe I ran out of gas. I won! I'm waiting for the timer to go down so we can get the hood off this time. thing. What happened, Jeff? Appreciate it. Thanks for, thanks for the toll there, Carlos. Getting more safety rating, guys. Oh, out of gas. There we go. Okay. So now we got to hit something. Not too hard, hey, though. John, uh, 12 totally bored you there. You've got wheel damage. This thing's... This thing's unflappable. You've got wheel damage. That ought to do it. No, it's still there. You've got wheel damage. Really shaking now. I'll get it here. Come on. Yeah, there it goes. All right. Hey, how are you? See that Red Bull car crash me? <laughs> Up there. Okay. Oh. oh, there it is. Old shaky. <laughs> Old shaky hood. Oh. There it goes. <laughs> yeah, right in the middle of the track. Perfect. Stupid. All right. Hey, quit screwing around. It's the turkey timeline. Lap traffic, yeah, you think you're in it? Oh, 13! That's a costly race for that team. P1 in the GR86, nice, dude. Nice recovery. Oh my goodness, these guys just don't want to slow down, do they? Wait a minute. A minute here, dude. Look at this wreck. <laughs> Look at this Toyota wreck. I racing cameras. Can we get like a 2024 version? Whatever. It was a huge wreck. Okay, you'll have to take my word for it. No fuse. It won't. Oh, yeah, well, why don't we use the new UI, duh. There, there we go. I got it. Sorry about that. Oh, way better camera angles now. People just coming back on track. Oh, really? 
we DJ? Yeah, there's other uh, sellers. It's just an artist rendition. I just stole it. I'm just, it's just a joke. Malone likes his gimmicks. Hey. <laughs> Whoa, didn't see that one coming. Hey. Boy, does my neck hurt. I got you. Uh, I don't know what we're gonna race next. Take a look. Wait, how did this start? A Toyota racing on Mazda? Oof. Hey, what about doing, uh... I thought about trying... The Turkey Timeline and Cockpit View. I don't think I've ever done it. Exciting. Erect. Coming back on track. Oh, he's going inside. Oh, it's Matt Malone. Look out. That was me. You already saw that. Uh-oh. Nice. The old bump draft. What happens next won't amaze you. Nothing. He's going to the inside. He's downshifting. He's breaking. He's turning. He's gassing. He's gassy. Boom. Short track racing. Marijuana car with a flame car. Match made in heaven. Get those cars in a garage together. Toyota, V Toyota. Not much room there, bud. Hey, he made it work. <laughs> oh, drift. Yeah, the turkey timeline for PCC is way too long. Toyota V Mazda. Oh, he gets. I don't know what happened there. I'm in cockpit view. Oh, Mazda. Oh, the overcorrection. Boom, dead. This guy's gonna wreck all by himself. Oh, yeah, okay. Oh, he wanted to kill some pedestrians. That's totally normal. Take a look at the red tape. Malone loses .21 safety rating and 57i rating. What a lucrative race that was. Let's do it again. I'm kidding. <laughs> um, now I know I did say something about using the uh, LMP3 for uh, the Falcon Tire thing, but eight minutes of practice is not going to cut it. Imps is at Road Atlanta as well, huh? We'll do GT4. Road Atlanta, Falcon Tire in the... Gotta go Merc, right? I can't, typical. Gotta go Merc. Let's do it. Let's do it. Uh, to be honest, Andrew Smith, I mean, you could try to find a setup somewhere. Um, Ryko performance uh, setups are an option. Exclamation point setups. But I would go with the advanced, the iRacing advanced setup. And then possibly lower the ride height just a little bit. Not too much. It depends on Lime Rock. 
Yeah, you could lower it probably pretty pretty much. You could probably lower it a little bit. Uh, yeah, the advan the iRacing Advanced setup for the Mazda is a pretty good setup, to be honest. So, yeah, use that one, not the default one. Don't use the default one, you see? You see? What a disaster of a race, you know? Disaster. MX-5 at Road America? Oh, that sounds like a amazing time. Yes, TT3T. I did. Uh, they are definitely... Um, I guess I can't say that for sure. I'm pretty sure they're like 3D printed, but it's out of a really nice hard acrylic, it seems like. Or maybe they're cut. I don't know. But they're pretty cool, yeah. I, I like them. And the fact that they have an iRacing package, uh, which made it cool. They're pretty expensive for what it is, you know. Um, but I think they're really cool. You can get a... I bought the mini ones. You can get bigger ones if you want. I think you can see them from this cam. Oh, yeah. Yeah, they're pretty cool. You just got to have a place to put them, you know? Resin 3D printed? Maybe. They're nice, though. Kind of if you have If you have a space for them, it's great. Yeah, I, I, I like the white on black. They make like wooden one. It's like they're the color of wood. Maybe they're maybe they're cut from wood. I don't know. Wood. This is always a fun track for multi-class. Super high intensity. Start one of my Ferraris. Ah, you know what? I can't right now. Sorry. The mechanic said, can't start it. He's working on the fluids. Laser cut, yeah, that, that makes more sense. Although I will say, I told them not to put the label of the tracks on it, but they did anyway, and I, a lot of the reviews said that they mixed it up as well. So just be prepared. But you can't even see it, because it's like etched inside of it. I think there's another option where you can have the name of the track like on the outside of it, like an extra little thing, but I didn't want any of that. I was in the GR86 uh, 33 when he took flight at the end of the race. It was funny. <laughs> oh, you had a Red Bull paint? Yeah, I saw you when I landed. There's a lean on the Ferrari? No, he meant to say the Ferrari has a lean. He accidentally um, put less air into the left side tires, so there's the, it leans a little. No, I bought, uh, I bought all those Ferraris. Ah, oh, dang it, I my button. I bought all those Ferraris with my TikTok bunny, guys. Ooh, thanks for the galaxy. Ooh, thanks for the roses. That's where all that money came from. I'm streaming live on TikTok right now. All the Gen, all the Gen Z, um, they're all sending me their mom's money. On the ride. 
I don't know what comes after Gen Z. Gen Z's the, the youngest ones, right? Oh, Gen Alpha, yeah. So wait, you have Gen... So Gen Xers, but then they don't do Gen Yers, they just do the Millennials. Instead of using Y. And then the Gen Zers, and then Gen Alpha. Well, how old is Gen Alpha right now? Like, my kids are Gen Alpha? Generation Y? Yeah, Y. Y even exists. Oh, oh. Like on the left. My kids? So the Millennials kids. Yeah, that makes sense. Would be the Gen Alphers. Dude, the Gen Gen Generation Alpha. Gen the Gen Alphas. I think they're gonna return to normal. I really do. I think they'll be the normal ones. As an elder millennial, good evening, chat. Congratulations! And the victory at Laguna. Hey, Ghetto Bond. Thanks, man. I'm an older millennial, too. Why can't I stop this damn... 105 degrees. Track temp, that's what. Am I saying you're not normal? Yes. That's exactly what I'm saying. I'm not normal. I'm not normal. I'm not normal. You've got some damage. Uh, the app I use for overlays is called uh, Race Labs. Oh, sweetly is. Get back. Oh. Well, looks like we're taking a little bit of a break right now from the stream. A little bit of AFK time, a little bit of me time, a little bit of away from chat time. You know what I'm saying? A little zen time, okay? But I'm sure it won't be very long. Looks like, looks like, yeah, I'm, I'm just getting word in right now that we are taking a little bit of a break right now from the stream. I'm sure, I'm sure things will resume shortly. Uh, just sit back and relax. A good time to cool the keyboard off just a little bit, you know. You guys have been going at it pretty hard there. So, you know, maybe it's a good time for you to go get maybe a little snack, a little, little chocolate milk uh, for you there, you know. Yeah, have a little have a little nice beverage there for you when I come back. Uh, so uh, we're just taking a little bit of a small little break right now. So I'm sure it won't take too long. Uh, these things uh, take only mere minutes, okay. Uh, but we'll be back uh, shortly here via stream will uh, continue on uh, after this little bit of a break that we're taking uh, right now. So don't, don't worry. Don't worry. Uh, don't worry about it too much. It's nothing to get hung You don't up say. On. Uh, it's just a little bit of a break from the stream right now. And I'm sure we'll be uh, getting things started back up here real shortly. So I'm sure there's a race coming up. Don't listen to that guy. He's one of those millennials. You don't want to be listening to him. K5, what's up, man? Oh, the stream title? I don't like changing my stream. I, well. Fuse404, thanks for the, uh, the five months. Oh, that was an hour ago. Never mind. I mean, thanks, but I probably already shouted you out. Probably not even here. Yeah, that was going on. <laughs> Can a mod change the title? No, I don't want to change titles. Oh man. What the? the heavy stuff's coming down for a while, guys. Yeah, guys. D underscore double underscore you donated $100. Not telling you how to spend your money, but if 50 of this went to flowers for Sam, and 50 went to some recreational drugs, I would be okay with that. 
Okay, well, I want to get some Viagra then. Thank you. Now, <laughs> dude, a hundred dollars. It's incredible, man. I will buy my wife some flowers. I will buy her some flowers. She deserves it. Dude, that's incredible, man. A hundred dollars. Flowers and Viagra. Get the heart going. <laughs> Thanks, man. That's crazy. Yeah, is it raining? It's not raining here. Nice stash. I swear I've seen it somewhere in a movie. If you give me $100, you can tell me how to spend it. <laughs> Flipping egg. The flowers will put the Viagra to use. Yeah. I don't buy recreational drugs. I'm too old. No. Dude, it's crazy because weed is uh, legal in Illinois. And at, the, uh, at my job, it's like in a strip mall, you know? And there's like a back area of uh, back by the lab and so i'm usually i was working in the lab today and i had the door open you know such a nice day and there we they uh the strip mall got these new tenants it's like businesses you know i'm good with viagra <laughs> and uh there was these three guys that went out there and they were s smoking weed on their break i guess and they're not even shy about it anymore and this guy had a huge like uh bilbo baggins fucking pipe the thing was like this long like real long like and then like and it was just a regular bowl but it was like over a foot long i'm like what the hell's going on here and they were passing joints around i'm like all right it's like the middle of the day it's like all right go for it guys Oh, man. It was, the, it was the weirdest pipe I've ever seen. Nah, no, it wasn't, but... Pretty strange to see it in the circumstances. That was literally you? Green flag, green flag. Okay, here comes your first time black. Yeah, Hargo, that's good, man. Get the cobwebs out a little bit. I stumbled upon a video on YouTube about this guy, and he's like, the title was like, I quit smoking weed, and here's my thoughts. And he just like told his like life story. I don't know why I clicked on it. So, yeah, I don't smoke, but, you know. <laughs> anyway. And he was a guy, he has a wife and a kid, a couple kids. He was like mid thirties or something. And he's like, yeah, he's like, it's been six months since I haven't smoked weed. He's like, I've literally been smoking weed every day since I was like 15 and I'm now in my mid thirties. And he's like, he's like, I couldn't believe it. And uh, he was one of those guys that just like literally, he's like, when I woke up in the morning, I would grab my my vape, my weed vape, and just take like a couple hits and just be like, he would just be stoned like all day. I'm like, oh my God. Like, it's just like anything else. Like you get used to it, you know, but dude, like, it's just insane. <laughs> but he would, he had a job, he was successful. Like he had a kid and He's like, I was high all day and nobody really noticed because I was just really good at managing it. And like, I'm like, damn. But he's like, now that I don't smoke, he's like, I realized how dumb it was. He's like, I was always that guy that's like, oh, weed's totally natural, man. And if you got like any problems, you know, it totally helps, you know? And then he's like, uh, actually it made it worse. <laughs> he's like, now that I'm sober, I realize that, but. Yeah, DJ. Yeah. It's always good to switch things up, you know? Because you get stuck in ruts, you know? I only smoke like two to three times a day. It ain't that bad. Okay. 
Do whatever the hell you want. I don't care. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not saying anything. I just thought it was interesting that this guy... Like, I can't imagine that. But for, like, an, like somebody that doesn't smoke every day... Like, it's much different. Like, people that smoke weed every day, it's, it doesn't really affect them, like... Somebody that hasn't smoked weed in years and then hits a pipe, you know? That person's blasted. You build up a tolerance, you know? Yeah, I'd do the healthy thing and numb my internal pain with alcohol. Not that weird. Not that weird wacky tobacco. Yeah. I have a 17 year tolerance, yeah. Holy crap, is that Matt Malone, the TikToker? Ooh! Oh, thanks for the roses! Thanks for the roses! Yum, yum, yum! You have a reference when you turn in at the top of the hill? Are you talking about turn one? Uh, no, not really. <laughs> uh, well, there's a little etch out of the track, and then you get the car set up and turn in. Oh, turn three? Oh, the blind one? There's a, um... They say to look at this thing to kind of reference yourself as you're getting set up. Sometimes I'm way over to the left more than I should be. But if you kind of like aim for it, because what you don't want is to be hugging this left side. You don't want to be hugging this left side because then you have to turn. You want to straighten yourself up to this corner so you're not like turning left and then right. You kind of want to just be straight on. So then you can just turn in normal to the right. But I don't have any references when I'm up here. I'm just trying to feel it out based on where I am on track. Yeah, there's not too many reference points here. and You just got to feel it out. That's what I do. You have the, uh, do you have the DD front mount or the wheel deck for your rig? Let's take a little look-see here. This is the Ace Attack front mount, which has a nice place for your buttons. Exclamation point tour. Exclamation point tour. You can get a closer look with my video that I just put out. But it's the front mount, yeah. This is hardcore mode. This is what I see when I'm driving. Vroom, vroom. Oh, wow. Hey, can you see your right hand uh, side mirror? No, I can't. This is a FOV of uh, 110 on a uh, ultra wide. Yo, what's up, Jared? How are you, man? Right? Correct. Right. Vroom, vroom indeed. Hey, don't forget to check out the Ace Attack affiliate link down below and use my code Matt Malone. Save 5% off your order. Check out that Forte bundle. I highly recommend it. We're doing the Falcon Tire Sports Car Championship. It's a multi-class race featuring the LMP3s and the GT4s. Malone! Starting way in the back. Hey, give me a break. I was chit-chatting during qualifying. Let's go! Put the right setup in. 
place your bets. And grid. <laughs> One to go. Next time by. Line up on the right side. The estimated strength of. You going sim magic? Bad choice. Boom. Uh, there's a lot of good choices out there. You do whatever. What you do, whatever is best for you. McLarens? Yeah, I like the McLarens. I like to look at them. Would you look at them? Just look at them. That's what I was doing with the Eclipse yesterday. I said, would you look at it? Just look at it. You don't need those glasses. Just look at it. You, you're, you're on your uh, progress there, Dylan. Don't you worry. You went from uh, Fanatic to Sim Magic. You'll make your way to Ace Attack eventually. Don't you worry, buddy. <laughs> hey, man, it's just crazy that like people that build rigs are like they have a direct drive wheel. <laughs> it's just insane nowadays. Like direct drive wheelbases are the norm now. That should increase the, um, with everyone on, like, good equipment, that should increase the level of, like, driving standards in sim racing games, you know? You would hope. I mean, if you, uh, are a knucklehead, you're a knucklehead, no matter if you got a Sim Magic or Simi Cube or Ace Attack. <laughs> if you're making bad decisions on the racetrack, it doesn't matter what equipment you have. Yeah, Flippin' Hagen, like, dude, back in the day, to get a direct drive, you had to, like, know a guy that know, know, knew a guy that, like, knew about, like, some, dude, I got an AccuForce, bro. I got an AccuForce. Dude, you want to try my AccuForce? It's direct drive. Only cost me $4,000, and the software is complete garbage. But, hey, dude, we got it, man. <laughs> Leo Bodner, ever heard of him? Yeah, the VRS was super cheap when it came out. And super strong, too. Yeah, I, I ran the VRS for a long time. All right, race fans, let's do this. Number five car starts 14th. We got a lot of work to do. We got a lot of learning to do, too. A lot of high, high car numbers in front of me. Go! I don't believe you. This is trouble. Thank you. I needed the boost, baby. Let's go. <laughs> oh, you love it. Just eye racers helping eye racers. That's what happens when you go way too fast into the corner and you slam on your brakes coming to a complete stop mid-corner and the guy behind you hits you. Totally normal. Don't get ass packed. Hey, what button is it? Eh, it's fine. Reminds me of my college years. Oh, Belkin's in the race. No kidding. Where is he at? Oh, he's in third. We're gonna get him. We'll get him. Try to. already in one lap. Oh, oh, that's a, oh geez, that's, that's a rough one there, buddy. Guys, uh, I'm so sorry. My headset died. Oh, excuses, excuses. <laughs> no 
Don't use a wireless um, headset. I'm so I'm honestly a little worried about mine. I don't know if it'll make it to the end of the race. Guys, I just swapped my battery. Make sure you're charging Literally two your minutes headsets. before this. I don't believe in I mean, it headsets. just goes blank and says your headset is low. Seriously? I mean... <laughs> no! My experience with uh, wireless headsets is that they're too heavy because of the batteries, but is that... Are they much lighter now? I can't imagine they're lighter than wired. Jared, I'll hold your spot up here, okay? Yeah, like a dumbbell on your head. All right, Yeah, the sign I said just got off for the night. Pushing too hard, just gotta hit my marks. I feel like once I catch these two cars in front of me, I kind of catch the whole pack. You know, I can possibly start leapfrogging or stay in everyone's drafts or just get involved. You know. I want to be part of something. The next friendly said came back to the screen. I appreciate it. That would start to do this. I appreciate it. Oh, and one thing I do know corner. is that I'm so happy that I used code Matt Malone at checkout on AceAttack.com. I knew you wouldn't regret it. Are you in here? Nope. No, it's the AI version of Matt Malone, actually. Okay, on the left. Yeah, I've got a got a sound board for him. The only reason I joined is because Balkan's in here. Who? It's not the load in the server. Here we go. Balkan this. Yeah. Uh, don't forget about milk. Does the body good? Unless you're lactose intolerant. Damn, that's a tight battle up there for the lead. Let's be honest, that never stopped me before. Oh, we're, we're gonna catch him, guys. So do all you maps, like, collaborate and stuff? Yeah, it's kind of like a little club we got going on. You wouldn't, you wouldn't get it. By leaders, that was good to know you. I 
think the damage to my rear is helping me. All right. Still there. Still there. Hold your own. Clear. in a McLaren. Oh wow, the LMP3 is already catching us. Faster traffic approaching. Oh, lucky day, Chad, man, if it weren't for that car. This really scattered the leaders, huh? Oh, fuck. Casey kind of got screwed here. Mr. Regger, welcome. Oof. Got decent pace here, huh? Catching up. Hopefully we get lucky with some traffic. Sunday, were we just bump drafting these LMP3s? That was amazing. This is fun, man. I love this track. Love multi class. Slow car ahead. Car stop on the right. Go left. Thank God. <laughs> Get him out of here. Get him out of here. I think there's a one car accident. I thought I was out of there. This is the, the worst. I got not driving very smart. I see you, I see you, I see you, Matt. Get him. Left drive. You're on the left. Car on your left. Clear on the left. Car right. Still there, hold your line. You're on the left. Three wide. Right side, two wide. Clear. Clear on the right. Woo! I like it. Oh, look at this mess. You're in the Right side. Clear on the right. Oh, that guy just got taken out. Push wide. I 
Oh, hello. Falcon. Come on, Jared. I said I'd take your spot. I don't think you that. Yeah, the leave my fucking knife, man. I just got people. God damn. You got a slow car on the left. Car stop on the left. Uh, go left. Uh, don't cut across the track like that. My spider lied to me. Faster traffic approaching. What the heck, man? I just passed you guys. Hey, Max. Right. What's up, man? Fancy seeing you up here. Yeah, what do you got? A... Good as always, my friend. <laughs> yeah, what do you got? A V6 in there, Belkin? Oh, uh, it's a three banger. Huh. You're pulling away from the car behind. The gap is 1.4 seconds. Three bangers, your mom last night. Oh, God, Inappropriate. Inappropriate. You're in fourth position. I can't believe we're not even halfway done. The race just started. I feel like I've aged 20 years and 11 laps. Yeah, kids these days. They got My no stamina, no endurance. Long. I'm just getting a feel for the car. We've got damage on the back end. Cool. I'm just making sure it's still there. Still there. Give me old Texas shocker. The old forearm shiver. Classic Malone sandbagging. The old Kansas kicker. Uh, we were talking about a very specific topic during qualifying. Just good to show you, that's the ace tech difference right there. That's right. I need to apply the same tactics to my racing. Clinton's quick, man. Another way around. We gotta dig deep into the satchel of racecraft, see what we can find. Oh, the leader's five seconds up. Get right on his ass. Doesn't seem to be affecting him at all yet. We can start peeking inside. Coming up to corners, peek a little. Give me old peeky. 
Oh, the old peak. I have a racecraft satchel. It's true. Not much in it. <laughs> yeah, the old rattle is cage. Hey, Max, you're blinking a lot, by the way. Head up. Flashing my lights. I don't like that tactic. That sure would explain why he tried to drive literally through me. Falcons, my friend. Yep. Wait, did you say Matt or Max? Uh, I said Max with an X. Gotcha. Max, like we're stopping. Max, like Max Throttle. Yeah, exactly. Wow, Come man, on, that man. downboard is real good. It even uh, fake so Matt Malone's yeah. name on the radio and everything. Uh, this is horrible. I almost... My Kyle. <laughs> Dang it, we're trying to catch the Porsche. I don't like when people flash their lights at me, so I don't do it to other people. I like the golden rule. Pushed him. We're trying to catch the Porsche. Oh, slow down. Oh, got away with it. Hey, Barmy, what's up, dude? What track is this? Road Atlanta. It's in Georgia. It's in the middle of nowhere. I've been there. It's fucking in the middle of nowhere. An explicit soul. <laughs> It'd be hard for me to lean out the window. Faster traffic approaching. the low license race, so I guess I'll try to make sure because they're... GT4s yeah. are not racing LMP3s. There's no need to block. Just, just add them. What did that start? Sweet chili sauce. Wait, well, that's it. crazy. I know, I know. Crazy I love me some sweet chili sauce. Got a little kick, but it's also sweet. As you were saying that an LMP car pile drove a GT4 car. That's why I like mango salsa is so popular. I think it was. McLaren? No, never mind. Thoughts on hot honey? I'm not a fan. I've only had it a couple times. Not a fan. No worries, Mac. We're getting back to Yeah. I gotta be Falcon, it's the battle of the streamers. It's gonna be tough with no straight line speed now. 
I can't wait for rain in this here. That's gonna be good. All in the load. I got it. All right. Clear on the right. Ooh. Oh, great. I got a Porsche behind me. What's he going to do? Hey, what are you doing? Come on, Matt, you can get it. I'm trying. GT4. Should have given you a little bump drop. What is your equipment? Talking to me. Looking good. Oh! Me too. Uh, Mercedes GT4. I'm in a Mercedes, got a Porsche, Look at McLaren. Look at us. Who would have thought? They're all over the place. I like the Merc. Hey, man. Hey, cutie. You really got to clear it up. Is that Matt Dan or Matt Dan or Matt Dan? <laughs> There's like four mats in here. All right, let's follow the Porsche until we catch Falcon. We only have four and a half minutes to go. Uh oh, Mahoney's trying to catch me. Slow down, Justin, damn it. All right, Ryan, let's see what you got. Yeah, there's GT4s and LMP3s, multi clash race, yep. You gotta get closer, man. So strong. We need that in the battle. has to be one of the best combos in I race. Minus that voice crack. Come on, baby. All right. 
I mean, honestly, this is track is awesome. Be right, right with him, maybe. I love this track. Yeah, but it's it's the drivers who make the real difference. You know, <laughs> it's us. Who they're touching? And milk. Shout out to all the moms out there. Good hold, Balkan. Good hold. Oh my god, I need this race to end. My headset's almost dead. Come on! Please don't be white flag. Clear. Thank goodness. Alright, we're coming up to white flag. That was the leader, so... Oh. <laughs> yeah, Pierre! The other day. You didn't see anything. Pay that GT3 or GT4. Absolutely nothing, man. I just got him in a good spot. I'm watching a massive spider walk around the wall behind my fen rig, and I can do nothing about it right now. Give me a dollar to get it. Yeah, okay, I really hope this is the white flag, man. Hallelujah. Oh, amazing. That way that spider doesn't kill you before the race is over. Come on! We got a caution with the green white checker coming. I'm gonna nail this. I gotta just pretend they're not there. Did not nail it. Yeah, he oh, got man, it. What a race. <laughs> Bendit, Craig Gunderson. Oh, dang it, dude. I screwed up 10A. It's over. Ah, good race. <laughs> oh, I screwed oh, up man, 10A. Otherwise, I would have had it, maybe. That was, that was wicked cool, oh, man. Came in too hot. <laughs> that was so close. <sighs> good, good, good racing, though, man. That was fun. That was fun. Got fifth, 18 I rating. Can't complain, man. Hey, good race, guys. Got to that race with Balkan. That's what it's all about. Good race. Let's see. Um, A 1.6 license, and I ended the race with 10X. I I'll be all right. Uh oh, you're about to get downgraded now. I did the algorithm in my head. I think I'll be fine. Map, more like map, dude. Damn. All right, Teganator. <laughs> Boom. Let's see the ass packing, huh? Hey Rocky, what's up, man? 
Hey, look at my car. It was lap one, turn one? Really? I guess the green flag came out so late. All right, let's take a look at me getting rear-ended here. I mean, it wasn't super smart of me. This move wasn't the best. I broke really late to try to get the pass and then came to a complete stop through Apex. I mean, he did hit me, though. I gave him room on the left side, right? I, I gave him a little room on the left. Yeah. I think I did okay. It's just... It was just probably a little awkward for him. Let's take a look at the speed difference here. Yeah, just a normal incident. I had the position. Turkey timeline, here we go. It's everyone's favorite. Whoa, buddy, hold it, hold it. Oh, 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 oh no, no. Oh, no, buddy. <laughs> Wait. Boom. I gotta see it from this guy's cockpit. Oh, cones are flying. His spider's probably yelling at him. Uh-oh. <laughs> what? He, he's probably another person suffering from from eye fatigue and uh, uh, lack of vision due to the eclipse yesterday, guys. That's what it was. I don't know. I didn't see you. All I saw was a big black circle in front of me. I'm like, the whole race, I'm like trying to look around this big black circle in my vision after staring at the eclipse yesterday. <laughs> oh, that was the guy whose headset died. Yeah, 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 yeah. He can't hear, he can't see. He's signing up for races. This was a fun race, though. Even that damage, it didn't really affect me that bad. I mean, you could say you could you could say it slowed me down straight line speed, but I don't know that. I mean, my setup just must have had maybe higher wing, you know, because the damage wasn't that bad. It might have added a little bit of drag, but not too much. But who knows? Real talkative bunch, too. Uh, Road Atlanta is all about braking and acceleration, yeah? Yeah, definitely. iRacing would be better if cars exploded into giant mushroom clouds if they hit the incident limit to get DQ. Oh, yeah, like this. Boom! You turn your radio off in races? Oh man, you're literally not getting your money's worth. And milk! I don't have a milk button. I want monster trucks. I want explosions. I want this, I want that. Jeez! Who are you, who are you, Gen Zers? Wait. You want everything. And then you're gonna complain when they charge you for it. Uh. 
I want the SRX. Yeah, you and 10 other people. I want Matt Malone to stream full time. Huh. We're not we're not we're not wishing upon a star for our nightmares to come true, are we? You guys be sick of me. <laughs> Yo. All right, have we seen enough? Hey, let's see if we lost our A license. Let's do it together, guys. You'll see it when I see it. Here we go. Boom! <laughs> do I know the algorithm or do I know the algorithm? Come on, guys. We're totally safe. Not even close. <laughs> we are... We. Are, I am comfortable living anywhere from 1.3 up i'm fine if i'm at 1.3 i've grown to be accustomed to that it's normal anyway there you go i got 18 i rating as well man the falcon tire sports car series at road atlanta does it get any better than that especially with a especially with a broken butthole <laughs> okay oh man <laughs> really, Mally? Yeah. Yeah, if you're low enough. I, I think they should change it. I mean, why am I get... Why am I... <sighs> I got, like, 10 incident points. It's like a 30-minute race. You know? Go figure. Hey, go figure. Hey, go figure. Ambassador privilege. I do have a more lenient algorithm that they use. I don't. I shouldn't call it an algorithm, right? Just a formulation, formula. Same, different. Mm, is it though? Mm. Is it? Try the new um this new car. Rookie micro non-wing sp sprint car series. Yeah, Rocky, what what are you waiting for? Yo what? Hey, what'd you call me? Hey oh, sh um I'll just use this normal one, actually. I don't think it is. I don't think this car deserves uh, the big oval NASCAR rim. Just a regular round rim. Texas requires a lot of skill. Okay. I don't know about neither one of them. To be honest. Hold on, hold on. Uh, what were we just doing? Dirt micro sprint non-winged. Okay.
Rebuilding my setup. My ex's kid destroyed my old rig. Time for some good old domestic violence. No. <laughs> that happens. My dad once, um... My dad had, uh... <laughs> my dad had this entire cabinet full of model cars. Like, intricate model cars that he'd made throughout the years. My brother, my older brother, when he was, like, three, got into it and, like, destroyed, like, half of them. Yeah, dude. He was pissed. He salvaged some of them. Hey, Trippin' Rainbow, thanks for the prime, man. That was 19 minutes ago. Fix setup, perfect. That's why I'm an only child. Yeah. What is this car? Horse feedback's way too high, I can feel it already. This direct drive? I don't know, it's got gears. They say you cut the cord. You'll have to slow down and give up the time game. I used to walk to this track every weekend. Lived just down the road. Where's all the UNOH hooligans in the chat? <laughs> Is that right, Spidey? That's crazy. Well, that's what we're driving right there in front of me. 73 months for... Sp Whoa! 73 months, Spidey. Thank you so much, man. Oh my god, this thing's hurting my ears. Ah! I do wonder if I should stream the race. The answer is yes. If you're streaming the race, post your link in the chat, man. People get a different, different uh, POV. If you're in the same race or whatever, you know. Or whatever, I don't care. Hey, Tokyo, good to see you. Oh, that's a good idea, National Weather Syndicate. My God, that is... That's smart as hell. Let's do that, because that is like... Let's do earplugs. Try that. How the hell do I get out of the pits? What the fuck? Not helping. <laughs> Getting dirty? Yeah, just trying this. It's a new car. But it's the wine on this is horrible. Let's try a uh, closed face helmet, I guess. Next, I'll do earmuffs. The pits are outside of this track? Interesting. Maybe they just had to do it this way because eye racing. Flat the whole way? Alright, let's do it. Nothing's gonna help that siren noise. Flat's working. This is the non winged one ranked. Must believe in yourself. Oh, I, I'll be fine in the race. Got to make sure, make sure I get everything right. <laughs> oh shit! 
Ah, man. Yeah, fuck you too. Fucking idiot. <laughs> Seems like a good group of guys. Hey, Bone, why don't you ever do Dirt Oval, huh? <laughs> I don't know. Can't think of any reason. <laughs> and no worse than PCC. Fourth gear the whole way? Green flag, green flag. Okay, here comes your first time black. Hey, it's weird that you're in this race, man. I was just watching your Ah, no kidding. Yeah, I figured I'd try this out. My ears are bleeding. First I went blind because I looked at the eclipse with no eye protection. Now my now I'm gonna go deaf because I'm driving the micro sprint no wing car. Whatever this is. This isn't even max RPM. Are you guys using fourth gear all the way around? This can't be right. This might be right. Third. Exit. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm ready, dude. This is what it's like being a mosquito, guys. I mean, nice I could... Exit. I just go in here and do engines down. That's earmuffs, dude. That's with my earmuffs on. Closed face. Wait, hey, I already tried that. Earmuffs. This has to be in degree of like dampening. So earmuffs got to be the. Good luck, everybody. I'm fifth down the straight, fourth into the corners. Okay, that's what I'll do. Maybe. Don't forget to drink your milk. Yummy, yummy, milky milk. Right. Surprised you didn't know that. All right, this will go well. Oh, hey there, race fans. Hey, welcome on in. Uh, today we are uh, doing a race and we're driving the checks notes. Stock non-winged micro sprint car at beautiful checks more notes Lima Land Motorsports Park Clay Oval. Okay, great. Apparently this is a new car that just came to iRacing like three weeks ago. Let's try it out. <laughs> oh my god. I don't know what you're doing. You're on the outside this time. Pit well, good luck. Place your bets. Sim Caesar, thank you so much for the 65 months, man. I appreciate that. Spidey, 73 months. You guys are incredible. Sim Caesar and Spidey, man, they've been here a long time, huh? Turn right to go left. Good idea. There's Sim Caesar. How you doing, man? Nice Tuesday evening. It's midnight for me, and I have to be awake in five hours. <laughs> Catch the six car. One to go. Next time, by. Did you hear that? <laughs> Big turd. <laughs> All 
All right, guys, look, I, yeah, listen, I'm not going to pretend like I know what I'm doing. All I know is that this car, the engine noise, I had to turn down because it was giving me a brain tumor. I could feel the tumor grow. Okay, green flag and a racing. Green, green, green. Wee. Smooth is fast. Oh, those guys are flipping. Oh, no, I want to keep racing. All right, good. Hey, we're better than them. Outside, Whoa. clear. Whoa. Car outside, Sorry. clear high. <laughs> okay, so... You guys will have to teach me how to race this thing, but... I mean, it is a clay oval. I know about clays, okay? Looks like a brown, silty clay. Nice and moist. I mean, uh, yeah, people like people want me to use uh, second gear and third gear. Let's try third, I guess. That was your fastest lap of the session. Second. My ears are bleeding. I'm not using second gear. You're crazy. I'll blow the dang motor, man. New fastest lap for you. This thing's quick. Third gear. All the fastest laps use third gear. I'm in fourth place, and that's what I'm running. The car in P1, just set the fastest lap. Well, what's There's first place point, running? Three, six, seven. <laughs> that was your fastest you gotta be lap real smooth seven. there now with it now, folks. The leader just did a 13. Oh, point he's four. into the wall. I'm gonna hit him. Oh, we avoided him. Now, this thing don't have a wing. Car in P2. I need two and a half gear. I'm dizzy and my ears are bleeding. What's next? The car in P2. Just set the fastest lap. 13.303. Three, three. Okay, Loss of bowel control? Oh. Inside. Clear inside. Sorry. I didn't think the car had a brake pedal. I didn't even attempt to use it. <laughs> I thought the car would I thought the car would slow down. Well, he won't be bothering us anymore. <laughs> I didn't mean to hit him. Leader is running 13.57. Whoa, we got a big turd on the windscreen. Hey, I'm catching this Seth guy. I don't think you want to go that low. You lose the camber. Oh, I'm passing him. Oh, I'm hitting him. Car outside. Clear. Oh, that's an overtake in third gear. Yeah, they're short races. Car stop down low. You're I bet the winged version is probably pretty fun. One point six seconds. This is a sound. I can't get over it. I have the earmuffs on. If you go into your controls or into options and then sound, you can change it to like, oh, you can simulate wearing a helmet. Or earplugs, or I put it on ear muffs, which should dampen it. And then I turn the engine noises even lower, and it's still like, wing. <laughs> yeah, you want to do a 24-hour race with this car? Sounds fun. The leader just did a 13.595. The track's really drying out, though, huh? Got to get a better line here. The leader is coming up on you. They're not at height. Oh, that seemed outside. much better. Keep low. Outside, clear. <laughs> you got five laps to go. 
Come on, get this guy. Oh no! Wall. Oh, he's going wide. Got him! Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. No, no! Ah! Oh. You're changing my underwear on no. that one. Excuse me. Dang it! Why did that guy put. You can't park there, sir. You've got two laps to go. Oh. What place was I in? Oh, I see your red and uh, blue people around me. What flag? What flag? Ah, oh, jeez. I was in seven. Oh, I only lost one spot. The leader is running. 13.797. Ooh, I almost passed that guy. It's over. I won. I won. Yeah, that guy blew his motor because he was running in second place. Or second gear. <laughs> Hey Ryan, what do you expect to be changed four times a lap? When did I hit that guy? That was pretty good action. I don't know. Oh, there it is. Yeah, the guy just stopped. Oh, he got, he got hit twice. I just, like seven people just passed me. <laughs> no, trading paints isn't dead. I just, I've never driven this car, so it gives me default white, apparently. <laughs> Thanks for uh, sensing me. Well, that was something, guys. Um, never quite had a racing experience like that. If you guys love these types of cars, give me some tips down in the comments. That's, that's to try to drive, uh, you know, interaction. Good stuff. Yeah, they're all white cars. That's stupid. There we go. Um, that's <laughs> um, what's going on in the gaggle, guys? All righty, then. All right, I gotta go to bed. Well, today was really fun, guys. Champ's doing some stuff. I'll give you the link. This guy's a good guy. Oh yeah, I unfollowed Belkin because he was playing uh, LFM or uh, yeah, Le Mans. Okay, he just started a race. Perfect. Hey, thanks, Tokyo. Well, I'm glad you guys enjoy it. I enjoy it. Do I have to be following a channel in order to raid them? No? Well, thank you guys so much for uh, watching. Thanks for uh, 
hanging out. Plum, plum boar. Thanks for the uh, sub, man. If you guys haven't hit the follow button on Twitch and the sub button over on YouTube, make sure you do that before you leave. That way you'll be notified of when I go live next or drop another video. Over on the YouTube, I usually will upload a new video every day, which is a bad strategy, by the way, for YouTube, but... Now, today I didn't have any full a full race on YouTube. I, I released three shorts over on YouTube. I hope that qualifies because it's been an entire year now where I've uh, uploaded a, a video to YouTube every day. So I've done that for a whole year. So stupid. I really try, I like to go for quantity over quality. But, uh, yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thanks for following. Thanks for subscribing. Let's go say hi to Belkin. I was just in a race with him. He beat me. So that was, uh, it's never happened before. But, you know, first time for everything. Uh, have a great uh, week, guys. We'll see you next time. Don't forget about exclamation point socials. Check out where I'm at. I love you. Goodbye.